All right. I think we got everybody in. We missing one. Welcome back. Happy New Year, everybody. It's your boy, the Panda Pandemonium, here with the rest of the crew, infamous Jay Vocab. We're right. Yeah. We'll be here later. So, uh, yo, how, how you boys doing? How was the uh, Christmas? Point. We talked about vocab here a little bit. How about you, Jay? Ah, uh, man. Uh, it was good. I had to work New Year's. But other than that, it was good. Ooh. Never, never fun. <laughs> and it was cold. Oh, my God. Oh, I bet. I was in Indiana for all New Year's. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where about? Uh, Fort Worth. Fort Wayne. I said Worth. Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm actually finna switch to my tablet in a second. Oh, do what you do. When you do it, because you did it so well. Shut up, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I was kind I was about to go ludicrous. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, holidays were good for me. Uh got some work done. I will be doing a reveal on the the the, the lab here soon. The studio's getting an upgrade this weekend. So okay. I'm gonna uh, get that reset up, and then I'll do a uh, I'll do an actual video so everybody can see what it looked like. Uh oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, the tree. I, oh, I, I, it looked like a shelf. I'm not gonna lie. It looked like it had <laughs> it was a floating shelf at first because you had it under it. That was cool. But yeah, uh, my wife is my so, wife is a Christmas baby. So when Christmas comes around, ooh. yeah, I actually drew the Grinch on the Christmas ornaments. So. Oh, that's what's up. You know what? Someone should make a Grinch tree. Like, the tree is the Grinch. Ooh. Hold on. Let me show you something. So, this is what my mother-in-law did. Oh, nice. Okay. Little Grinch wreath. Right. We have... That is awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry. The Grinch is, like, one of my favorite parts of Christmas. Short okay. of... Oh, that's Ooh. nice. The tree. So, yeah, I had fun doing it. That's okay. so yeah. Grinch, Grinch the mints. Grinch yeah. mints. So last year, I was like, can I pick something for Christmas? I was like, I want to do the color green. And they were like, okay, green. I'm like, not that green, but okay. Not, not that green. We're not going that green. <laughs> All right. Give me oh, one second. I'm going to switch over. Oh, you good. You good. Take your time. Takes your time, man. So, we I've decided that we are not able to take off for two weeks ever again. Um, I feel like it's been three. She, I, I know, but like everybody started dying as soon as we took off. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> ain't got time for that. I do not. So, yeah, we'll, we'll get into some of them later. I was just like, why? 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 What? The, what the, who's next? Like, all bad, all bad. We gonna toast to them though. Oh yeah, definitely. Speaking definitely, of we, definitely for the viewers who have missed us today, we on Stella Rosa Black Wine. Okay. You know, it's a little for for the wine drinkers. It's a sweet fruit wine. So if you like. Uh, dry wines. This is not for you. Uh, there you go. And since we've been gone so long, I bust out a a rare piece. So this wine glass here, I don't know if you can read it. It say Hungerford Prep Prom 2004. I oh, got wow. the Prom King. So not the Prom King prom glass king out here. You know. Okay. Okay. All right. So. We gonna pour I'm up not mad at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something That's like what's up. That's what's up. Okay. Yo, Drop real talk. We should do like an adult prom. Yo, I'm like, with it. I'm so with it. We should definitely do an adult prom. I'm so with it. Adult prom. Yeah. Well, okay. So the glass that vocab has, he got for being prom king. So he brought he broke out some old school stuff 
for the new year. That's Stella Rose Black. It is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Babe, okay, I got Stella Rose Black and not Shen. You can have some. I'll pour you up with your glass at. How dare you? <laughs> Where is your glass? I got you. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, see, you got some stuff on black. You literally have still a rose black. <laughs> I dropped a piece of ice. I got you. So you know he, you knew he had something. News, uh oh. All right. Good Let's news go through is, bad news. I'm happy to see y'all. Bad news is it's date night. <laughs> I forgot. Ooh. Oh, date night again. It's date night? Day night, bruh. Can't be messing yeah, with date night. Should, last episode. We, we should, no, we're, we're not leaving right now. We're going to get ready to go. Go on to Iron Age. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. What? That's what's oh, up. Yeah. That's what's up. Well, ladies and gents, then we have him until that happens. And once that happens, then, you know, we have to bid him adieu. He'll still be so. sneaking in and out. Like he always does. <laughs> right. All right. Well, look, let's go ahead and get some of this started. I uh, um I want to get these the passings of these individuals over the last two weeks. I want to go ahead and get those top of the show. I told uh Vocab earlier, I was like, man, we, we can't go for two weeks off the air because as soon as we left, as soon as we stopped doing it, it's like one, then the next, then the next, then the next. I ain't got time for that. I don't we don't need that no more. So two weeks. Uh, first, we have the late great John Madden, who passed. Uh, oh, oh, we got okay. We got we got Rod. There we go. Yeah. What up, bro, bro? What up? What up? What up? Chilling, chilling. How was uh? How was the holidays? How was family? Family's doing good. Holiday not too good. I caught the flu over the holidays. Ooh. So. Oh, no. But it wasn't yeah. COVID, so it's okay. Nope. There nope. Wasn't there. It wasn't the wrong. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it was it wasn't the wrong, way. so it's okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, we were talking about we're going to go through. I said we can't take any more two-week breaks because people start dying. We ain't got time for it. <laughs> <laughs> Death over the full effects. <laughs> right, right. So our first individual that I'd like a moment of silence for is Mr. John Madden. Uh, he passed on the 28th of December last year at the age of 85. Um, so, for Mr. Madden there. Uh, they said they didn't know why yet. I'm still looking to see what the reason it was. But as of right now, I couldn't find any outlets that gave a reason for why he may have passed. It was unexpected, they said. So, um, The next individual is... Everybody, mama, mm-hmm. Miss Betty White. Don't do it, no, Miss Betty White. Say psych. Thank you for being a friend. Right, go oh, right. Uh, dear man, she was ninety nine and passed on the thirty first. Um, two weeks before becoming a hundred. Two weeks. Two weeks. It was something. I think I threw it in the chat earlier. Where we, it was a picture of Ed and Al uh, from FMA, and they were on the floor with the circle to bring their mama back. Yep. And I was like, okay, we just got to bring Betty back for her birthday. We just got to bring her back hey. for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, be, uh, people were mad about that back. one. Right? Oh, so somebody, how's it? J. Crane, RIP Met. Yes, J. Crane, definitely. Shout out to J. Crane. Right, what do you say? He said, you think Red Fox hit cousin. Betty White back in the day? <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I'm not even no, mad at that he comment. Might he he might probably have. did. Hmm. I would I not mean, be surprised if he really. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't try. Let's put it that he way. Probably, probably shot a shot. Yeah, I, hey, why not? At that point, she was at the height of the heights. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Go big or go home. <laughs> go big True. or go home. Listen, that's the one right there. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. That's my little cousin, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up that's what's up but yeah so she yeah she mm, hold it oh there was a, a twitch uh not twitch a uh 
Uh, TikTok, yes, yes, thank you. It's a TikTok, and it was a guy. I will find it and I will post it for everybody with this guy's stuff so y'all can see it. The dude was funny as heck. He was talking as if he was an angel coming down to hell. <laughs> You see, I saw that. I saw that one. (laughs) So y'all know what I'm talking about. He's like, "Oh, that was you. You messed up, Benny. Oh yeah, nah, bro. (laughs) He's the wrong clock. He met the devil. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's that one. It's one where um, God was talking to the angel like he's bringing the queen. He was like, the queen. I I said you go get the queen. You. You said the old lady that's what, what old lady bring? Do you like is that Betty White? Oh wow. Why? <laughs> wow. You got you got to say that one out to everybody too. I, I get it. I follow him. I get it. But yeah, so rest in rest in peace, rest in heaven, Miss White. You you brought a lot of joy to a lot of people for a lot of years. Mm-hmm. So oldest, funniest white lady I've ever seen. Man, yeah. man. And never be another. And oh she no. Yeah. Bad. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She aged well. She aged actually very well. She, she said, she said, she, said she, some out, she said, I don't eat greens. That's my secret to success. I don't <laughs> eat nothing green. <laughs> like, you know what? Oh, she <laughs> might be onto something. She said eat. She didn't say smoke. Just saying. <laughs> there is a video with you dog talking about he got Betty White high. I, I know. Find that video. Oh, oh you know he, he gets he, if sure. he gets any his hands on anybody, he getting them high. Hands <laughs> down. That's like true. that's true. <laughs> and then finally, Mr. Sidney Portier. Wow. The this man oh, black excellence. Oh, OG. OG of the OGs. He was the first black person and the first bohemian person to win the Academy Award for Best Actor. Hey, hands down. Speaking of that, all right, let me look around. I know we were just talking about Betty White, but Sidney Poitier is also the first black man to ever smack a white man on camera. Yes, that's yes, true. Was. Yes, he was. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. I need anyone who does not know this man has never heard this man's name before. I need you to go on IMDb and look at this man's resume. Mm. Just hands First, down, like I did. Come through. up, come off into that rock. Then do that. Then right. Then do that. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't care how you do it. You can stay under your rock for all I care. Just make no, sure you read that man's resume. Bed. Simple as that. Like that man, the number of awards and nominations and things that he got, and the era of time when black people were not allowed to be even be in the same room as half these people is unfathomable. Like everyone talks about Chadwick Bosman now, right? And Denzel now. This man is who these hey, two wait. people looked exactly. up to. True. You know what I mean? He made he paved the way for so so much. Man had 10 Golden Globe nominations across the across his lifespan, like amongst many of other things. Like, do you know? I believe he got uh I forget what it was. You know what? Let me pull it up because I was just looking at it. Dude got an award for his spoken word. Hey, do that thing. Hold it. Where was it? Where was it? It's the book that he wrote himself. And I was just reading through it. The Measure of a Man. Ah. It's his spiritual autobiography. That's what it is. Let me see. How many awards did he? It was a Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word album now you tell me how many people have a grammy for a spoken word for poetry my boy that's crazy <laughs> right jake ran the resume is un unheard of in these days that is crazy how many people got spoken word grammys not not grammys cd, CD right 
albums. Exactly. You got a spoken word album? I mean, I have one shameless plug, but don't worry about it. <laughs> he, he does. Miss. He does. I'm working on my putting mine together. So, but I'm not at his level. That's crazy though. <laughs> like, the point uh -huh. is, you got a Grammy for that? Like people don't even be listening to spoken word like that anymore. Period. Right. Nope. That's and my crazy. man pulled a Grammy for it. That's wild. That's wild. Something that most music or musical artists strive their entire career for. This right. man did it sitting in a chair with a pipe, reading a book. <laughs> Legitly. <laughs> Legitly. This this one of those, you know, the conversation was like, this man has more talent in his pinky in than pinky. you have in your entire oh, body. Oh, He's oh. that dude. <laughs> yeah. You in know. So Again, shout out. He uh he passed, I believe it was just uh two days ago, if I'm not mistaken. Three. Three, yeah, days? three. Yeah. Three. So, Today what the eighth? Yep. Yeah, today's the eighth. Yeah. yeah, and it was the fifth, I believe. Yeah, yeah. He was 94. 94. Mm. Everybody so, old as hell, bro. So I've had this conversation, and we've all had this conversation, I think, where I was talking about, I was like, we have lost more legends in the past five years than our generation has created. That's facts. No and lie I think that's a problem. Like, normally, I think every year we've had replacements. You know what I mean? Like, as people left, there was somebody to kind of fill in that role. Not even their particular role, but a role. You know? I don't know any new legends like I got some people who may be slowly coming into that realm. Like Chad Chadwick would have been. He would have been. One. He is. And he would have been he's like one that we had and we lost him. Right. And we lost him lost already. Him young. Lost right. him young. Right. So. Um I'll I'll yeah. even give Michael B. Jordan. I will even give him that. The thing, the types of moves that he makes, he will end up being a monster in the industry. He will he already and he, he already yeah. is he making moves, you know, and making waves. So and rubbing rubbing elbows with the right people, you know what I mean. Um, but I don't, I can't think off the top of my head. I can't think of too many, too many others. New legends, and in what regard? Because I'm thinking, I, I'm throwing some that are almost dead, but they're still like 10, 15 years away, probably. Okay, who you got? Who you got? Okay, I'm thinking like a Beyonce. I'm thinking LeBron. I'm thinking um, okay, LeBron's Rihanna. Okay. Rihanna. Okay. I was thinking more in the. I was thinking more in movies. Movies. Okay. And acting. Movies. Yeah. But no, you are movies very correct. Movies is tricky. Movies is tricky because you got to yeah. think like. I think the arts are kind of tricky when it comes to. You ain't got no, bro. Yeah. But then again, I'm not as versed on Broadway as I should be. Same here. And so I'm wondering might, if some of them are there. Like one or two in Broadway. Right. Because like Hugh Jackman came from Broadway. Right. Gerard Butler mm -hmm. came from Broadway and came over, and they are they are legendary in their own right. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. So yeah, when you think of that acting realm, it's kind of tricky because it takes you got to put in work to get to that work, point, work. right? <laughs> and even people you're thinking of, even in the back, you're like they're like 10, 15 years away. It's right. True, probably Probably some MCU actors that are legends not now, maybe 10, 15 years from now. Oh, yeah, they, like... And I, I agree with that. I would honestly, I would give the, the MCU universe most of the actors in there, I would give them that they could end up being those goats in 10, 15 years. You know what I'm saying? Like the Schwarzeneggers and the 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 Stallones and you know, all of that. I think the MCU actors, because of their most of their divorce, diverse portfolios. Most of them can do almost any role you throw at them and have done it. That's mm -hmm. true. If Thanks. you really think about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just see a meme the other day about Raven Simone being a legend just because of all the diverse stuff she's done over the years. I was like, I can respect that. I, I can see that. Like I was, it, yeah, I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like wait agree. a minute. I was like, you know what? I can see it. Let's see how the rest of her life goes out, but I can see it. Who? So, so you respect don't but don't agree? Why? Yeah, because. Who? I don't. I don't want to speak on that. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I, I don't want to speak on that. Who? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> respect. Respect. 
Okay, so I'll speak for you. So what he's trying to say, people, is she fine. Okay, she fine. So <laughs> Raven. Raven Simone? Yeah. Who says she fine? I do, first off. <laughs> Come on now. She the girl Raven Simone. Come on now. Maybe Dr. Yeah. Little Raven Simone. Come on now. Maybe she used to be before she went crazy. Well, look. Have you seen her well, some people... in her life? Yeah. All of she was just a celebrity world fortune. There are just a lot of celebrity world fortune. fortune. The world. They don't change. They find this. It was all right. At one in between Raven that we know and this Raven, she did have a rough period. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? And that's the last time I seen her. So I don't know. Maybe she got fine again. She got a TikTok now. TikTok now. So. Yeah, she's kind of mellowed out since she left the view. She kind of mellowed yeah, out. I feel bit. that. Yeah, Hold on, I said, I Raven as a Raven legend. As, as a legend, I agree with. So, see, thank you, yo. My guy is with me. So it used to be <laughs> not no more. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, he did. It used to be not no more. Okay, okay. It, I, I can see that. Like, I'm just saying. I will say this. I will say this. Raven has the ability to still be one of the legends. In we're, again, we're talking about 10, 15 years. We don't know what all is going to end up transpiring, but if you look at What's her career from start, was about to say her career from child right. star to from child hip, star to hip hop artist, right to adult star like TV star, like she has a resume. she has she a good does. resume, but her off screen stuff is what's going to mess her up. Wait, wait, this is also did true. you just say hip hop artist? I said I had. I I had my I how many <laughs> actors? How much? How many that's actors dip into that the what music? We're talking about? Listen, first of all, I was a Tita Girls fan. Not from the at like the soundtrack <laughs> to see the girls on was not fire. <laughs> not we not finna do that. Okay, listen. First of all, if we're gonna go Cheetah Girls, we have to pay respect. The Cheetah Girls ain't nothing but three LW minus Natari Norton, Ad Raven, and some chick I don't even know who. Mic drop. Fact. Like, <laughs> not gonna dis- I'm not gonna disregard that. I'm not. That's just three LW, three little women was literally Adrian, Kylie, and Natari. Cheetah Girls Thank is Adrian, Kylie, Raven, and whoever the hell the four. I don't know who the fourth person. I don't know. Can't remember her name. Uh, yeah. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. At least with Destiny's Child, all four of them was fine. Even though you don't remember uh, half of them. I mean, Latoya, Latavia. Mm-hmm. Latoya Lucky, hold on. First of all, out of Latoya everybody Lucky who's was been in Destiny's Child, I think Latoya Lucky was the finest night for everybody who's been in Destiny's Child. Well, no, no, no. I don't know. I have a... I have a nah, team. I say Kelly was finer Kelly than beautiful. Latoya. I was always Kelly a Kelly person. Like, I, I'm, a, Kelly I'm a Kelly Roman person. Is. Don't get me wrong. But just the fact that I was ready to fight Tank because of what he did in that movie, but so you're lucky. I'm not gonna argue oh, with that. I feel you. I feel you. I'm not gonna argue that. I'm not gonna argue that either. I'm not gonna argue that. Either. No, <laughs> no, it's a legit argument. Legit yes, argument. My yes, my and he is very argument. correct. <laughs> but I mean, is, if we go in that route, I was ready to fight Nelly in dilemma. That, so Kelly, oh Lord. If we go in that route, I okay, you're showing your age. You're showing your age. <laughs> <laughs> Latoya is fine, fine. That's yeah, yeah. she is. We're not disagreeing. Sure. We're not disagreeing. Not disagreeing. I just personally think Kelly got a slight edge on it. It's like a nine point nine to a nine point eight. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, <laughs> it's an apples and oranges, pretty much. It, it, it ain't no margin. You know what I'm saying? But I just slight oh, edge. Okay. I don't know if you watch Battle Rap, but she got the slight edge. Yeah. Slight, edge. <laughs> slight edge. I mean, be honest. You I mean, do the hand, you do the hand, the slight edge. I mean, be honest. Beyonce was the least fine out of all of them. We're gonna yeah, keep it a real. Of no, course, no, not, not true. Not yes. true. It was not. Yes. I mean, not Kelly. Um, Michelle, Michelle is not finer than me. Nah, we talking sorry. the original four. Pre, pre, like oh, the one. Yeah, when I got, well, yeah, you I was the guy with Michelle. The lead singer, the I, the, the, brown the other girl. girl? Who was the other girl? I can't remember her the name. Wanda. That's her name. Yeah. She was the main singer, too. A lot of people don't even pay attention. Yeah, and Bill Bill and all of that, she was the one singing them, them 
versus, okay? And yeah, Beyonce only got shot because her father was a man. Let's just keep it a buck fifty. Let's just keep it a buck. Right. So nah, Kelly, let's be honest. Hey, Yo, we need we need to change. We need to change the do a battle rap show. I need Rob to win that. We will. Well, we yeah. need to change this for the beehive come after us, y'all. You know how it is. Yo, y'all. The you know, <laughs> you know I don't have said that. Shoot, I, I just said all I said was a Beyonce and NBA, so I'm used to that smoke. I'm used to that smoke. I got smoke. something for you. First then. of all, since we're already on this topic, a bee could never see a wasp. Hold up. Since we're already on Bars. this topic, there was an article that Mariah Carey declined Thanks. a versus with Beyonce staying, that's beneath me. I agree. And I agree. No lie. I agree. Bro, all I got to say, hero. All I want for Christmas, bingo. Literally, all I want for Christmas, you can't go nowhere in Christmas time without And that not hear that song. You can't go nowhere after can't even get those before. <laughs> No, no, correction, correction. The words were, I'd be disrespecting myself. Those were her words. I love, I love not it. Wow. It's just shit. the fact that she said it, though. You oh, better yeah. talk your shit, Mariah. I mean, but think about it. It's like, so if we look catalog for catalog, now I'm not going to say that Mariah is a better businesswoman. By hands down, Beyonce has, will Mariah, drag her through the Beyonce mud on that. Not, I give Beyonce, Beyonce that. will drag her on the business side. I give her that. I give Beyonce But as far as track for track, I don't know about dragging, but on the business she tip, she got her business tip, business Beyonce is better. Business no, no, for the business, the business tip. tip. Wait, wait. No, Beyonce is better, but Beyonce yeah, but head, this, wait, wait, wait. Before y'all say that, though, y'all gotta think about it. This woman gets a half a meal every year that the song gets played. Yeah, the no, contract. Yes, but here's, here's why I say some, that. Do, she has one song that does that though. Mm, that's not, but that's not what I. Every, that's not why I say that. Did you you all know about that situation with Coachella, right? Yes. With Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody pretty much knows about that. That right there is a move. That is a boss move. Yo, I don't know who this nigga off Neil is, but he he realizing what's really good with it. Come on, son. She better cut the Jay. I'm not gonna dismiss dismiss that that either. I'm not gonna dismiss that either. Because I know she picked up some game. Jay's another one running away from verses. We keep it honest. Jay's another one kind of running away from verses. First of all, that's another one that I wanted to bring up. Wait. I don't say, so say what I got to say about that. We'll come back to that. Let's don't finish this one first. No. Okay. So, yeah, Mar- sure. Mariah, bar for bar, she, she her catalog is just longer. Her her catalog has more versatility. That's fact. As well. That's fact. Mariah. Now, Mariah, you're just one on features. Listen, <laughs> Be honest. I was just about to say that. Right? That too. Mariah has done songs with Biggie, Bone Thugs, Right. Pac. Like, come on, bro. We, what are we doing really, here? Ja, right. What are we doing here? Pretty much here? all, the, all the old school legends. All of them. Oh, bro, mm-hmm. so, yeah. yeah, that would not be a versus. Yeah. It would not be. Not a versus. Bro. Now, I also, on the same on the same tip, though, I'm gonna take I don't tip. see anyone getting on stage excuse me, with Beyonce in a versus. No, because what I do don't. Mean? Because she's a performer, and yeah, can't nobody outperform her in this era. One, of the, yeah, in this era. I was just about to say, like, oh, I know, okay. Okay. Out, no, 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 but not now. In, not now. Yeah, 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 like I would put her up there with like Michael right. and Prince. Like she's in that yeah. vein of performance. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, Janet, yeah, Janet Jackson. You know, Janet yeah. might be the oh, only yeah. one, and that's a might. And that's oh, a first yeah, off, that's, don't disrespect you know, Janet like that. Neil God, bro. He's yeah, right he, she did one with Buster too. Oh yeah, Buster was with everybody. That's who keep people oh, yeah. keep running from Buster. That's yeah. who people keep running from. No, no, because no, no, nobody, nobody, nobody wants that smoke. Nobody wants Buster. Don't nobody want those problems. Bro. Those who no, no, no. I those who no, no. Hold it. Fat me, Joe said those same words. If Fat Joe had an interview and he said that same thing you just said, Rod. He said, "For when it comes to Buster, those who know." No, we're no, not exactly. jumping in the ring with him. Well, you don't uh, want that smoke. I'm gonna tell, tell you. I'm gonna tell you one thing. How you know you don't want it with Buster? If you didn't know Buster, he was skinny. You don't. Oh, know you don't know Buster. Not the same. Skinny if Buster. You, if you I'm didn't know, if like, you didn't know Buster, he was trying to like, like, right. Right. You don't want it with Buster. 
because I don't do TikTok. Yeah, but yeah. My, my whole girl TikTok. Where no, I was dancing no. like bust the rhymes, and I'm just jumping all over the place. Right. Because like, that's the buster that we came up on. First of oh, all, of course. Listen. Like, you can't you can't film a music video with regular music video producers. With you need <laughs> exactly. give me some more. <laughs> you can't keep him in frame if you nah. got standard music videos. The man nah. is here, then he on the other side of the house, then he might be down the street. And next thing you know, he on a different block. All in like the matter of one minute. Yeah. Cause y'all got two for us, low key in this video. He got two for us. Right. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say something. So the only thing right now, the only person who could stop Buster, Della Reese, or oh, Monique. That was uh, Monique. Um, that was Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, so video, you, you remember the one video, video when they was on um, playing Harlem Heat? They was act was acting out Harlem Heat. And Monique was Della Reese from Harlem. Yeah. I mean, Harlem. Oh, Harlem Names. Oh, I mean, Harlem yeah. That's a wrestling group. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's the only person that can stop Buster right now. But I don't think he want none. <laughs> nah, she don't want none. She don't want none. Oh, man. That would be she funny, though. Me. Yo, he would have to bring her on stage. They Thanks. would have to do that <laughs> if, he, if they did a versus. They would have to. <laughs> man. Oh, uh, but, but nah. yeah, no, like. Before I go, nobody... can we get to the Jay Z? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. We'll, 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 we'll slide Yo, in. So, Jay Z said there was nobody that could go against Cap. the verses. And ninety eight percent of the world that knows rap said that one person that I know can go against Jay Z. Not Lil Wayne. Oh, Lil Wayne. First of him already. Oh. Not I don't know. know. Wait, I'm gonna tell okay. you. I'm gonna tell you why. Because every single who that Jada when that Jada kid start playing mixtapes, if Lil yeah. Wayne start playing mixtapes, it's over. Oh, first of all, oh, Lil Wayne's catalog is crazy, especially if we talking mixtapes. We don't even need mixtapes, tapes, though. Is the thing we don't because the Jada saying. battle, Jada won that by himself without his mixtapes. They started trying to play him, and then he brought the mixtapes in. Right. <laughs> Let's be real. So true. This that. is the I thing. If Lil Wayne ever does the verses and no ceiling come up, I don't want it. Okay, hold it on, real quick, real quick. No this right here, Jay Cran said, I feel like verses need to be by region. I think that would be a great idea. That would be a good idea. That would be a great idea. Yeah. Either region or eras, too. Region and or era. It would be kind of iffy for certain people. That's facts, though. It's, it's a perfect. Yeah, because people in the South gonna favor. It's um, like five, literally, yeah. favor you, saw, right. you saw it in the Bone Thugs verse three six joint. Well, hold it. Now the three six joint. Memphis that niggas, was like not even petty. just Memphis niggas. Down South niggas was voting for three six and up here's North my Memphis thing. That was the Juicy J was, show. That was not a three six show. That was the not, Juicy J right. show. All he was doing was his cameos on everybody else's songs. Three yeah, Six wasn't even on the on the stage half the time. Right. Hey, listen, too fight. Man, right. They should have just they should have just said Lil, let Lil John go against Juicy J and that'd be the end. Oh, that would have been lit. That was that would have been lit. That would have been. I think, I think the Lil John versus a good one though. Lil John versus T Pain was a good one. That was good. So okay, so here's that one was still working on it though. If you think about. It, the the juicy J Bone Thugs because that's what I'm calling it, it ain't three six it's juicy you J and Bone Thugs. Hey, yeah, <laughs> but he's not lying. Doing his thing too, bro. Who? DJ Paul. Okay, okay. Juicy J and Bone Thugs. <laughs> but no, like if you think about the era of music and the style of music, that wasn't even a good battle. Yeah. You know, I, mean, both I, is, both of, I got kind of bored with that versus. I'll be honest, I got kind of bored watching right, that versus. Oh, they they chill. They're versatile. They got a lot. Of I thought the fight, the fight was the only part of the versus. Both of is the same thing that we was talking about with Mariah, bro. Exactly. Or alone, it's a done deal, bro. Exactly. And they didn't even pull out all of them. They didn't play the pop joint, right? They didn't play right. the Snoop joint, like right. They played the Mariah joint. They played. The biggie joint, but they, my thing is they're not they're not hype rappers. 
No, they're Juicy not. Juicy J is a club rapper. You see what I mean? That's different styles. It's right. Slow. They literally right. just slow, bro. That's literally the whole they whole thing is that we're rappers who harmonize. First of exactly. all, exactly legends off the premise off the alone. Rip. The right. way they did it, more legend status. Like uh, what was his name? Come on, uh, I cannot remember the dude's name right now. He came out right when Chris Brown came out. Um, Mario? The only thing Trey I remember Jones? is, huh? Trey Songz? No, 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 no. He did. He did a. He did a song. <laughs> it was Monday <laughs> afternoon. Oh, Neo or Mario? Day. Probably. I don't know. Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd. Let me hear song. Oh, Lloyd. Lloyd. Yeah. I always wanted Lloyd to do something with Bone Thugs. With his ability yes, to harmonize, that would have been. Oh, fun. that would have been good. That would. And that his would image fight. fits their image. Yes, bro. yes. That would be good. That would have been fire. Bro. I mean, maybe we're going back. So I, I okay, heard it's about that time. We're finna get ready to go. Okay. Um, got a request. So go ahead. My boy Champ is in the chat. He is what, a year in the anime now. Okay. 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 So. I know y'all gonna do it. Right. Get him some. Oh, uh, I gave him a couple. I just gave him a short list. My wife told him to watch. I come and got you. Oh shoot! Oh no! <laughs> no, you cannot. You can't recommend that as a first time. No, my wife. Just, no, sir. Yeah. No, don't start with. You gotta that. warm somebody up for that one. He, no, he's already. He's already in. He's, he's already, already in. He's already been watching. Too late. It's about him. No, no, he's been with anime for a year. Oh, okay. He's been with anime for a year. He good. That's yeah. still too early. Bro. How yeah. many, so he just how many animes have he seen? Has he seen FMA? He, uh, actually, he's in, he's in the chat. Have you seen FMA, champ? Hopefully. Full Metal no, Alchemist. Because I feel like if you've seen that, you can watch Kill I Kill. True. Not Kill I Kill. Uh, Kill. Kamika Kill. A Kamika Hill, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he can't watch Kill Like Kill. Line. <laughs> no, bro. No. No. <laughs> no, no, don't want to do that around the family. Kill Like Kill and Agami Ka Kill are two different shows, way different, way, way different, <laughs> way different. Hey, on that's the like screen, an apple and a banana. Like <laughs> no, that, that, that's like on, apple. on the slide, watch Kill Like Kill. Like like see, and name, and name. <laughs> see, this right here, no, that's a no. That's a yes. Finish kill, kill. Don't do it. That's a yes. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. man. But oh, on the I will on catch the whole lazy like thing, I think I, I like Jay-Z as a businessman. Yes. His catalog, yeah. though, and people will, people will come for me for this, and I know that. I'm not I'm a Jay fan. Right now, I'm not a Jay fan. I never have been. I know you don't gotta be one. You but most of the people he would go against, I think they would murder him. Who? In today's era. In today's era. Who can he go against? That's what I'm saying. There's nobody that would be a good fit of a battle. You know what I'm like if yeah. you put against Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne's going to murder him. Yeah, that's, because he's that's more why, versatile. Because the people who. Is in That's always era. been Jay Z's weakness is his versatility. If you his think versatility. about it, people who came from his era that still can't walk and destroy him, maybe Nas would definitely destroy people him in his era. That's even that's in what I'm his era. the people from his era that are still relevant will kill him, right? That's what I'm saying. And it's so, like, so who could you even put him against? You can't put him against nobody. Jado, Jada Kid's gonna slaughter him, Lil Wayne's yeah. gonna slaughter him, Nas already slaughtered him, right? <laughs> Snoop gonna slaughter him. Snoop, that's not even a question. Like that's a I, would, I, I would love to see Snoop in the forty. His ever, it's like, come on, bro. You know Dude, who I would love to see Snoop in the forty. I would love that. Easy. I would love Easy E, but Easy E dead. Easy E, right? And so that's what I'm like. I could see him against he DMX. He could be Pac. He could be yeah. Okay, yeah. Not there. DMX would slaughter him. It would be closer. It'd be closer, yeah. I it would, the vibe would be closer, no, I think. No, DMX would. Because once he's played, once this song starts playing, stop. First of all, people who don't yeah, even yeah. open up, yeah. shut The people of today who who hate yeah. on us because we're old heads and don't like their new music, even yeah, they still out here. All right, bro. Y'all have stop. fun. So, like, nah, bro, it's not happening, bro. The yeah, people of Jay's era, he can't yeah. hang with, bro. 
That's and true. That's you true. You can't go against the people of this era because it's a different, it's a different, different style. Vibe. It's a different yeah. style, different right. vibes, different. So I mean, the best do either because the people who are gonna tune in for that versus is not fucking with the way Jay rap. Like so. No. no. I mean, I would do like maybe Jay and Fat Joe. Yeah. That might work. work. That oh. might work. That might work. You know, a, something like that. Of of what you can do, that's the best. Right, and I got Jay winning that though, because Fat Joe is not. You know I mean, it's got a little weaker. I mean, yeah. they both have the same problem. They both, they both have the, same, have the problem. same problem. Yeah, like it gets too samey after a while. Like, okay, yeah. do you have like, anything else? What are you gonna do, bro? You know what I'm saying? He don't. I mean, got it's gonna end up coming focus. down to features. With that, is what it is. True. With them two, I think it would come down to features. And who will come on stage and things like that? Right, right. Yeah, but see, at least Jay got some songs he could stand alone, though. Yeah, Fat yeah, Joe don't really got that. Maybe lean back, and that's about it. Oh, his that that was a there was a feature on that. Yeah, no, that was Cuban Links. Never mind. Yeah, like so. And we already the, know when we when it comes to Terror Squad, pun. Was slow. Oh, pun was pun was yeah. man. Pun, imagine, pun, imagine, yeah. if, imagine if pun Most Biggie and Pac were alive with this versus stuff. Oh to man, me, to me, the only person real shit that can see pun is Big and Pop. That's it, and maybe that'd be a, that'd be a triple threat. Man, I, I, know, I so, pay for that so one. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. If pun had, if all three of them had been alive still. First off, let's just let's just put on the table, and I think y'all agree the music game would be completely different right now. The entire oh, terrain, oh, the entire oh, the entire oh, terrain would have been different. Like we, we drink into that. Yeah, the entire terrain. Think like I'm thinking Snoop. Like I was watching some interviews with Snoop and stuff where he was uh, he was talking about how he would come out to New York and then fly back to L.A. and they all the New York dudes was having is like watching his back and shit while he was there because he didn't even want to be there. You know what I mean? Like the vibe in New York back then was so oh, yeah. different. The culture, the the community, the camaraderie around the business was so different at certain times. Listen. And yeah. I grew up I grew up in New York. I knew that era shoot New York. Big you you had to have a say. and I quote and you ain't never heard nobody else say no shit like this. Rolling ganja up in Bible papers. See how high the Lord could take us through the eyes of Christ, Elijah, Christian, Jacob. I make a hustle drink. Come, bro, who doing shit like that, bro? <laughs> Nobody. Roll Nobody. Up yeah. in Bible papers to see how high the Lord could take us. Like, come on, yeah. bro. Yeah, because if all oh. three of them, Jay-Z wouldn't be as big as he was if Big was alive. Let's keep that. I, I'd be honest about that. Oh, no. No, Jay-Z, no. But I think their Jay-Z styles would have changed, style, too. Bro. I think their whole styles would have changed. You know what I mean? Oh, like they would have had to in order to keep up because we all know number one, Pac, Pac was the innovator, right? True. He was That's doing fair. the randomest stuff and pulling it in and making it work. That's right. right. Then you got Biggie. He he had his thing, he had his MO, but he could still be flexible with it. True. And then Pun just kind of came out of nowhere and was just like, Hey, yo, my name's Thor. Bam, here's my hammer. Like, <laughs> so, <okay>. like <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be real. But like mm-hmm. that type of a situation, that like those types of those auras, those chariz- the charisma that they had. You know what I mean? Like y'all have seen the pictures of them all in one room sitting around the table. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. The table, right. 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 That's the thing you do on the regular. Fucking cannabis. <laughs> right. Now think about them with Can Snoop. Mm-mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Think the world be a whole lot E40. different. Bring E40 into that. Bring Man, Lil Weezy, Lil Weezy, we growing up around them. It's oh, a whole yeah. different Lil Wayne, bro. That's a whole different Lil Wayne. First of all, look, this gonna be some bullshit, but I don't care. I'm gonna say it anyway. If Lil Wayne was around them, he might still have some dreads in his head. <laughs> Bingo. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disagree. I'm, I'm not going to disagree. But we're going with versus rumors. The best one I keep hearing is um the one with um Will Smith and LL. I would actually I go watch that, that live. That. That. I watch that. I, I would go that. watch that. I, I got, want that. I got or, or, or LL, LL winning just because he was more 
consistent with with the rapping. But listen, I'm a Will Smith. I will let me, let me correct. It. I'm a Fresh Prince fan, and okay. I'm not talking about the TV show. I mean, I'm a I'm a TV show fan too. But right, right, right. I'm talking about the Fresh Prince rapping with Jazzy. Yeah, with Jazzy, the reason yeah. why Jazz got on the show is because DJ. Jazzy Jeff was his yeah. real DJ in real life, and niggas was putting out tracks. But I had the jo- I can't find it no more because them shits is dumb old. But I had <laughs> I had his fucking LP. Yeah, the Fresh Prince LP. We talk about Nightmare on Elm Street, bro. Yeah, it was a nightmare. Oh, this nigga rap about Freddy Krueger. First yep. of all, how you a yep. rapper who don't curse and rapped about Freddy Krueger and did it well? That is one thing I give Will all credit for. As as Stories, a as a clean bro. rapper, he Stories. was a beast. Nigga, I'm a, I love storytelling rappers, bro. That's my shit. Oh yeah. My it's, baby, yeah, it's a long baby, story. Baby, it's a whole whole other thing. It's Slick Rick because Slick he's Rick the ruler. It was a one time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if we were just talking about Biggie earlier, I mean, the way Biggie was going to like, he was going to like a storytelling mode. If you Biggie remember too. life after Biggie. Like he was gonna go to. I'm gonna give you a battle of the ages. I'm gonna give you a battle of the ages. All time, like just all together. I -hmm. I think I got big as my one, and then pun, and then pop. But as as far as storytelling, which is my style, I got slick Rick, bro. Oh yeah, a lot of people forget about slick slick Rick now. Father storytelling, bro. All his rhymes is literally. Stories, and then on top of that, it's stories that help the community, nigga. Hey, yep. world, the world is yours. Come on, bro. The world is yours, young black men and women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna give you so one. This is, this is an age battle, though. Let's go. Hype, hype man versus hype man. Uh oh. If you okay. put Lil John versus Slave Flay. Yep. You already knew where I was going. That. You got because you. I was thinking that. Straight up, hype men. Hype men versus you can't hype men. Talk about flavor, flavor. Like that exactly. Was his literal job. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, I was like at least little right John. Little John is a hype man, but at least he got songs that's little John songs. It's little John Eastside Boys. Really. Flavor Flav is a hype. That's it. That's, that's it. what he does. He mm-hmm. That's all he does. Yo, boy, that that, yep. that was his whole shit. Which is man, so I was cool. he got game yesterday. Shoot. I was just watching that yesterday. He got game. Oh man. The funny thing about that to me is that the group he was in was a was a conscious group. Oh yeah. Were you the group that got the the man who's only a hype man? That's lit. Like that's it. Yep. That's all he- how yeah, children's story was a real good one. Oh, the police is killing me. Yeah, boy. Like, how does that even go together? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but hey, it, it shit. It I brought us a lot of laughs. True. It was a good point. Happened, we never had flavor of love one, two, or three. Which and means you wouldn't have had shit. <laughs> we had hoops or New York or <laughs> New York. Oy. Nigga, That's a whole era. Of flavor of love, this this nigga Shaq got a girlfriend. You know what? <laughs> wow. This is hoops. One flavor of love. Next thing you know, you was like, oh, this nigga Shaq fucking hoops. And we was like, hoops 5-2, Shaq 7-2. What, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> huh? She was riding it. She, she was, was playing cowboy one way or another. He had to do nothing. <laughs> He just stood there and was like, yeah, sure, what's up? <laughs> Y'all a mess. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Shaq told his shit. True. I'm just saying. A mess. Is that any, mess. Shaq just said his kids are not in his inheritance, so they got to make their own money. You know what I'm saying? I'm right? Saying. Hey, I ain't with, I'm not mad at him for that at all. Like, I raised you. Y'all got good heads on your shoulders. Y'all know how to work with money. Now I'm keeping mind to use for myself because I earned this shit. <laughs> like, nice. like me and your mom about to have fun. I holla. <laughs> Legit, bro. And he's one of the people, unlike Diddy, he gonna be in town too. I don't even care who went to like actually went to school 
for his his degrees that he got. Yeah. Honorary. Yeah. But then, like, sat and put in the he work. He sat in class and put in work. Right, yeah, he like, did. Mm-hmm. He did. Fuck them honorary degrees, bro. Niggas sure. out here getting degrees because we in class and shit. You out here, yeah, all right, nigga. So fuck it. Give me a doctor. A, a what? You got a PhD? For, <laughs> Play nice. These all niggas in school for 10 years to get the fucking PhD. I'm saying. Cancel student loan debts, but that's all I'll say. Keep <laughs> Right. That part. Right. Let me get my education for free, sir. Oh, one other thing. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the show. Vocab's birthday happened over the break as well. It, it, so it, for those of y'all, I'm 35. He is now old, officially, officially. Officially so, old. Ladies, like, welcome to the old head club. Old man, he's right there. He's bearded <laughs> up. He, you know, what I'm saying he, you see, he knows his wines. Clearly, he's a man of culture. Oh, oh yeah, we, we do that. We do that. That's facts. That's I need to do a flavor of vocab show one of these days. Hey, I'm right. with it, bro. Really? Flavor of vocab? Yo, I'm with it. I'm definitely with it. I'm so with it. We're going to have to change okay. the but we're going to figure it out. All right, all right. We're going to work that out. Yes, we're going to work that out. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a that's gonna be a show. I know. That's going to be a I show. Know. Oh, Lord. Thanks. I'm going to have to take some time off and, like... <laughs> Oh, oh and yeah. Infamous shout wife's out birthday to was on Christmas. Christmas. So shout out to Miss Infamous. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take like a month off and like fly down there. We're just gonna record the whole thing. It's gonna be like a month <laughs> Listen, of just... I'm with the shits, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna take over title for y'all as too. There we go. All right, we're gonna work through that for everybody. This is for y'all enjoyment. Trust me. It we're gonna do this good. for you, but he's gonna enjoy it. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy it. But listen, hey. If back into the battle rap shit, Jazz the rapper did one. I could if Jazz could do one, I could do one, bro. I'm just oh saying. yeah. It was it was some online shit, and she had motherfuckers on like Zoom meetings and shit doing shit to fucking win her over. It's like fuck that. There you, you go. You set it up. Let them fucking come out here and try to get a piece of vote. <laughs> oh, here we go. We gonna call the show the definition. Come the definition. Podcast. I'm Ooh, with I like it. That. The definition like that. of love. Let's go. Come on. The definition of love. Make it, make it, so, make it poetic. Make it poetic. The go. poetic of love. Oh, okay. Do that too. We be out here. Damn, so we gonna work through that. I'm, I'm, working on, I'm working on my thesis because I'm getting my master's. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. We not really gonna name it that. I'm working on my thesis. <laughs> Right. It's like honey. Now that sounds like some uh like an Aseki. It's like I was working on my <laughs> girlfriend. First, first episode, <laughs> right, paper dude. First episode, this paper dude. Right. Oh um, mess. Wow. All right. So oh, there was also one other passing. I forgot it. I accidentally overlooked it, and I apologize for this one. Okay. There was one other passing that happened. Um Saika Kanata uh, was a voice actress who did, uh, she did the Japanese version of Anna in Frozen, and yes. she was also Yuna in Sword Art Online and yes. Shoji, Shoji in Airbound. Um, but she fell from a, like the upper story of oh, a hotel shit. and oh passed that way on the 18th of December. They're still looking into that's what may have happened. Wow, that's thing. suspicious. Yeah, yeah. That's what, so they're still looking into it, but leave it to a Japanese person to fall from a high. Like, like I said, I think happened. something else happened with that, but yeah, like, wow. Yeah. Let the let the investigators investigate on that right. one. That's, that's crazy. Right. Because I want to I want to hear some more about that because that was that's a bit much. That's, that's a bit much. Crazy. Um so I got a question for y'all. We're going to do a, a random piece. I might have an answer. You might have an answer. If y'all had to have somebody get a feel or a taste for you as a person, what five video games or game series would you pick to give them? Hmm. Damn. Take your time. Hmm. I, I low-key don't even have to. Okay. If you're ready, we can go. All right. This is so sad that these are my five games. Here we go. Though. 
Skyrim. Okay. Dragon Age. Inquisition. Okay. Kingdoms of Emerald. GTA 5 and Mortal Kombat. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I don't even think. Okay. My five, I'm thinking about. I have to have to go with Sonic because my mom used to call me Hedgy as a kid, so I have to put Sonic. Okay. Respect. Respect. Gotta do Pokemon. <laughs> my girlfriend says, so much I Gotta go Pokemon. I would also go with Mario. Okay. Kingdom Hearts. And mm. my fifth Nick's one. I'll get you. I'll get you. Fifth one's kind of tricky. I'm gonna be honest. Fifth one's kind of tricky. We're picking five game series. I would probably have to go with, you know, I'll pick Final Fantasy X. No, no, okay. not Final. Scratch that. Scratch that. My favorite RPG of the 2000s, Skies of Arcadia. Okay. I I'm love with that. It. Okay, I'm with it. I like that. Skies of Arcadia was fine. Okay. So for me, oh, Infamous said 2K, WWE. I don't know what that is. BDZ, BT, or DBZ, that- Dragon Ball. Yeah, Dragon Ball. Or Bordecai 3. three. Bordecai yeah. 3. Yeah. yeah. Like BDZ. Huh? Yeah. Stop he texting and driving. Dragon Ball. Ooh, Ninja Storm. Ooh, Ooh that's a really good choice. Ratchet and Cur- Clank. Very good series. And Ninja Storm. All right. All right. That's um, that's what you used it to describe yourself? That's what he if it, for a feel for himself. For okay. me, it would be the God of War series. Okay, I'm with that. It would be the Mass Effect I series. Can see that. I can see that. What's the second one? Mass Effect series. Okay. Okay. Um. Don't say Bioshock. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Tekken series. Okay. That's like the um, one. Mario Kart series. Okay. Oh, I didn't think of Mario Kart. Oh, I didn't and... think of that one. And. That fifth one, like, I, I'm always, I'm a ride. That fifth one is always a hard one <laughs> to throw in there. Why are making me but, feel bad for how fast I've got my five? Oh uh, no, like, you're good, you're good, yeah, you're I, good. I, I was like, oh, I got it. Because so, yeah. it's like, it's like to, to define me is different than like the favorites. You know what I mean? Right. Now I got you. See, but my first three like are all similar, so it kind right. of that's why. I was like, <laughs> oh, let me see here. The last one, that that that, mo- that moment you got to scroll through your head like. <laughs> That's what I was just doing. That's what I was just... <laughs> you got bro, because it's so much. Right. And, and we're gamers, so we probably right. know even it's more. even worse. I'm with that ninja guy. Honorable n- mention that ninja game. That's an honorable. That's a good one. I'm with that. I'm with that. You know what? My last one, honestly, would probably have to be Pokemon. Okay. I'd have to be respectable. Pokemon. Yeah. It's very respectable. So that would be my five. But yeah, I okay. always thought that was an interesting, an interesting my, throw out for people. My honorable mention is gonna be Ghost of Tsushima. I feel that. I can respect that. I can respect I can see that. I can see that. I don't think I got an honorable mention. You know what? I do have an honorable mention. Streets of Rage series. Oh, Streets of Rage. <laughs> this fool infamous started it now. Now you gotta get all the <laughs> Okay, so hold up. So I got something I want to show y'all. I don't know if y'all know about this because you talk, since you said Streets of Rage, did you know? Somebody... Yo, wait. Ross oh. said Streets of Rage is his honorable mention. Yep. Yeah. I see that. I see that so so hard, bro. I can so see that. First, and I love Streets of Rage, bro. Which one was your favorite though? Gotta go with two and then four is yeah. right behind it. You gotta say two. You gotta say two, bro. I'm gonna sip to that. That so, soundtrack is fire. That soundtrack is legendary. Fire, bro. And I was and I was my nigga skates. Me I'm too. I was a skate myself. Here. Come on, son. Y'all ready? Let's go. I'm ready. Okay. Hold up. Look at this. I'm looking. They made Oh, I think I posted that. I think I showed y'all that. You did. You showed us this. They did a Streets of Rage with the Ninja Turtle series from Turtles. Yeah, I saw it. I saw. I was like, "Oh yeah, this is an actual game and the gameplay." That's so fire, bro. And I was like, so somebody came up with a Streets of Rage Ninja Turtle crossover, and none of us found it. None of us could play this as a kid. Tell me. 
because you know I was gonna be done. We would have been all over this, bruh. You know, How did we not get something like this back in the nineties? That's, like, what what that's, that's when you're supposed to do it. We have to find this game. This is like a mission of ours that we have to find now. Because it was made. This was actually made. It was made, bro. It was made. Look at the Shredder fight. Yeah. I, like, want I want it now. <laughs> for real. It's like, this is a like a missed opportunity. Like, why did he... real, because this is fire, bro. Like, I can't believe someone actually came with this. Bro, I could so see an X Men version of this too, bro. You ought to, now you know what else this came up with? Uh, no. Y'all remember Pirates of the Dark Water? Yes. Oh, I can see that. That part, that game with the Ninja Turtles would have been epic. Or X Men. True. True. Or X Men. Yo. But yeah. Infamous said, same question, but with movie. Now, this one is going to take me a little bit longer. Oh, okay. So Infamous is asking the same question. question from before. What five movies define you? All right, can I cannot cheat. Are? I'm gonna cheat. Go ahead. And I'm gonna cheat. Everybody said, and it's true. This is probably the most accurate one that I look like Omar Epps, and I have my whole life. So <laughs> just take I'm not his, just said I'm a cheat. <laughs> take take his top five movies. There you go. Oh wow! <laughs> I said I was I'm gonna done. cheat. I said I was gonna cheat. If you did me, say you was gonna cheat, I didn't think you was gonna cheat me, like that, it's though. It's already my movie. <laughs> now, Ooh, my okay, top five the movies. The funny thing is, my my all time favorite movie is The Wood. And that's a big Omar X movie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. That's a movie. That is a good movie. It right? is though. I fucking love that movie. So Although much. I think I like Four Brothers better than The Wood. That's just me. I feel you. I'm not mad. I can see. It. I, was, I can see it. I, I didn't really like Four Brothers. I mean, it was all right, but it was, all right. Yeah, it was cool. I, I was just like, that. I think the twist just what threw me off is what I didn't. Ah, uh, like. got gotcha. you. I mean, got gotcha. Andre three thousand was in it, so I was happy. Okay, okay, I'll, How- I'll go with mine this time. I'll go with mine. So I'm gonna go the Underworld series off top. Um. Yes, he did. He said the top five Omar movies. He did. He cheated like that. Yes, I cheated, bro. Listen, <laughs> I'm, I, listen. I'm. I'm gonna think of. I'm. A, I'm gonna think of an actual five. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now. Probably three of them is gonna be Omar movies. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm being real. The Grinch. Okay. Is one. Mm-hmm. Um. Shoot, movies. Hmm. Uh, dang, this this one is more difficult. Movies is more difficult. It is, bro. I'm thinking. Hmm. I got three. I got three. Hold on. I think I got four. I'm trying to think. Because if I anybody comes with their full five point before point I get to mine, let me know. But then when I was okay. thinking about it, I was like, all right, so. I'm not gonna go into. I got my five. I'm not gonna go into detail. One okay. of these, one of these is a. If you know, you know. Right. Okay. And I'm. I'm gonna sneak it in there. If you catch it, you catch it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and it, I, all I'll say is, it's not gonna be the first one. It's not gonna be the last one. Okay. All right. So, the wood is actually uh-huh. one because, like, the way the what the that movie was good is about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Brown sugar, um, okay. loving basketball, uh, the best man. Ooh, good choice. And um, I'm sorry, I laughed because that was the one. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be no, the wait, best oh, man oh, I can be. I can be. Yeah, that's, uh, all right. So what else? All right. Hey, Juice. Y'all a mess. Juice. Hey, Juice. Okay. I told y'all three of them was going to be over movies. But okay. Okay. Think about the movies. Like, you know what? I'm thinking of my five. And I think three of them will be based in New York. Now I'm thinking no, about I, this. That's what I'm saying. I'm a black man who rapped 
and play sports from the streets of Brooklyn, bro. Like, yeah. so want to raise home oh, right here. Oh, I got my three. I got three. I'm, I might surprise y'all with three. Oh, but. Rip, Brown Sugar, as as a hip hop artist in Brooklyn, as a yo black man, Brown Sugar is a rap. And and I played ball, freaking loving basketball. That's rap. The wood Ooh. is about a man who moves and ends up being like the best fucking person. Like I moved from New York to Florida. It like it's this shit's really like you know what I mean? Like, they hate yeah. the best man. I'm not going into detail on why the best man defines my life. Like I said, if you know, you know. <laughs> you know. All right, I can do my five. I think I got my five. I think I got my five. All right, go ahead. No particular ahead. order. I'm gonna go juice, paid in full. You see, Ooh. who's the man? Because all three of them, Harlem Night, New York, and I grew up in that era, so I know okay. that those areas in that movie a lot. Another one I'm going to throw into is one of my favorite movies of all time, Undisputed. I love that fucking movie. That I is love a good the movie. That's I a love the movie. that the, yeah. that the way that old guy rants. That is my top movie moment of all time. When he rants about how he had to leave, I felt that in my fucking spirit. When I tell you, I felt that no, in my what, fucking spirit. Nigga, first of all, Wesley's character in Undisputed. Bro. Okay, I'm going to do that. Yes, yeah, so I said undisputed. I said paid in full. I said juice. Uh, paid in full. You know what? Fuck it. Belly. I'll throw those five in there. Those okay. be my five. Rod, we got some things to talk about outside of this. Outside of this <laughs> after so chat, I'm, after, I'm after also, the show. <laughs> I'm also a, as I said with my movies, a young black man from New York. So based on your movie choices, and this and the, the topic is defines our life. You was doing some things that I didn't know you were doing. You was out there in them screens. And I was doing them too. So we gonna have to have some stories. Nah. I, let's just say I was a Harlem boy in the 80s. I grew up in the 130s, and I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. No, infamous that I'm he is. of this. Me and you going to talk. Hold up. <laughs> so Money talk. Money talk. He, Wait, got, him. he got game. Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Life. And don't, don't be a South. To South Central. All right. Panda. All right. Why you took us off the screen? I didn't. I just, oh, my bad, Coach. I just there you realized go. that, like, the whole time I've been staring at your face talking about my movie. <laughs> Yo, you were. <laughs> I, I, that's the part was I was staring at it, too, like, but I'm looking at it on the side, not on the actual screen. That's my bad. That is all my bad. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. <laughs> my bad. We did video bad. games and movies already. Here, I, I, I'll do this. Oh, wait. We got. Oh, wait. Someone in the chat asked before we end top five all time favorite. Oh, that'll change everything. Now, that's that that's, was, Now, you got to put thought in that. All right, yeah, let we, me, we might I, have to get back I'll to that one. Five, yeah. And then we can do the top five of all time. Um, this is going to be interesting in comparison to all of you all's. Uh, <laughs> well, so, he wasn't a young black man in New York, so I, I wasn't. Yo, can't be like me in Rod's list because I was literally based on being in New York. Yeah, <laughs> New York. <yeah. laughs> So, like I said, Underworld series okay. would be one. Right. Um, oof. I'm low key hungry. This is really bad because I really can't think of anything. Oh, Transporter. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. The movie. Huh? Okay. The Muppets movies. The whole the whole system. This this is what described. Yes, I can see that actually. <laughs> you know me. Yeah, I was like, I was like this is what, wait a minute, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. The majority of Disney. I'm just gonna be just. I mean, it's not really an easy one to pick. That's cheating. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to narrow it down. I'm trying to narrow it down. Uh, I'm gonna go Aladdin. 
Okay. Okay. It's like a tie between the lead and Lion King. Okay. Respectable. All right, wait, and... hold on. In Lion King, who was your character? It jumped between Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. Okay. I can, I All can, right. I can like, it was like, depending on the moment of the show. Yeah, I can, no, I can respect that. Can respect <laughs> um, and then the last one. trying to think of something that I, I'd like I couldn't live without because I don't watch movies like that anymore. This is not the top five minus you. This I know, is- I know, I know. This is describing me. I know. I'm like going through my, my parents have a wall of VHS movies Yo, in the basement. I, I, remember I pulled out the VHS and right and I'm just like scrolling down the <laughs> scrolling down the list now like what's on the wall. All the 90s black movies I have on VHS, I just want you to know that. Straight up. Soul Food, there I was just watching God. I have Men of Oh, wait, that is my top five. I got to wait for that one. Speaking of what y'all one. said, Four Brothers, I got The Brothers that a lot of people forgot about. Oh, that was Moore a good movie. And fucking this Nick, what the hell oh, is yeah. this? Oh, yeah. Chestnut, Bill no, Bellamy. Chestnut, uh, the other, the dark skin nigga from um, Bill Bellamy from Boot, yeah, Bill Bellamy, one nigga. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I can't come up with a fourth one, a fifth one. I mean, what? I'm right. Sorry, I can't. Figure it out, Panda. I'll, I'll get it by the end of the show. I'll, I'll get the fifth one. Gotcha. By the end of the show. All right. All right. Well, fair enough. Now we gotta think of our top five of oh, all time. Be- of all time. I- Oh, this is easy for me. me. Top five movies of all time. I think I got you. No particular order. Top five. Summer of Sam. Okay. Men of Honor. He Got Game. Okay. Paid in Full. Okay. And my fifth one is going to be... You know what? Why not? Black Panther. Okay. So, he says favorite, not best. I just want to point that out. Hold up, hold up. Okay, Honorable mention, here. undisputed. Okay. Top five all time favorite movies. Okay. Obviously, I already told y'all my all time favorite movie is The Wood. Um, also, Paid in Full is also one of my top five movies. I fucking love that movie. I hate Cameron in the movie. Fucking. <laughs> Fuck that nigga, we go. But. <laughs> Love this fucking movie. I watch it literally True. all the damn time. Shatas is also a top five for me. It's favorites. I'm talking favorites, not best. Uh, right. Here you go. Your fifth is Kung Fu Panda, nigga. That's what <laughs> uh, it's not actually, but good one. Very good job. That's a favorite that. that describes you. I I see it. I see it heavily. You poet. <laughs> so you see it. He's like, screw it. No, you're taking that one. You're taking that one. <laughs> nah, because I can see I can definitely see it. Um, all right, what did I say? I said I'm not opposed to it. I do like it. I said the wood. I said paid in full. I said shotters. Other two favorites, favorites. Um oh no. Give me a second. What you came with your fifth? Yeah, give me a second. Oh, let me think. Last, two. y'all keep going, but I did. You know what? Court jester, Danny K. Okay, that's, that's the fifth that describes you. Yeah, okay. I'm with that. I'm with that. Yeah, favorite movie. You know, Shatters, the word paid in full. I'm trying to think of the last two. Like, I, I'm really want to go. Like, this is my favorite shit. Like, shit that I can watch all the damn time, over and fucking over. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, the anime movie. movies pop up on it's that so list? list. It's so many. That's why I'm like, I don't know. See, like anime just... movies halfway half the time be the show itself. So I'm right. like, eh. that's right. that's why, yeah. So I'm not counting that. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Just trying to help out. <laughs> trying to help out. Because if we was doing that, I'd have to throw that Kuroko movie on there, and that's a whole other situation. Yo, d- did you watch it, though? Bruh. 
I loved it. Ugly. Ugly. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I said they did not throw street ball in Corolla. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a shit. Omen was giving them dudes work. Work. What? Said, Wait, did you watch that movie without watching the show, or do you need to watch the show to watch that movie? It, oh. Okay. You can do it. It without. helps if you watch the show first. But it means so could, much more. You could watch it. The way they did it, you could watch it without watching the show. Yeah. Okay. But it means so much more. Because the whole after movie you watch the show. The whole movie is literally one, it's two games. It's the first game and then the clap back. Right. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. So All right, my last you can, thing. but it's it's so much deeper. So much deeper. Yeah, if you know the storyline. So you know, <laughs> then you gotcha. know the background. Yeah. Of each character. Gotcha. Okay. So much better, bro. Gotcha. Oh, kind of like Prince of Tennis. Gotcha. gotcha. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly like that. Which exactly. I still did not start. <laughs> I'm gonna do it though. I promise I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right. Last two. It. Hold on. Last two. Last two. I'm gonna. Take the walk and leave the... You sound like a pussy. <laughs> anyway, we off that. Because I will watch Shotters tonight, nigga. Fuck out of here. Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, nigga, I'm Jamaican, bro. I, don't, I have to. I have to do it. Um, I'm thinking of other, other movies. Honorable mention, State Property, and State Property 2. That's an honorable mention, but I can't put it as my on my list. I can't put it on my list. I did this. I'm the, I don't like, that. like hood movies, just fucking belly, hood movies. Hood, hood classic, the hood classic. Hood, hood classic, hood classic, girl. Into um, deep. Oh yeah, into deep. Into deep. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. All right. So, what did I say? I said shotters, the wood, paid in full. I want to go somewhere else with it, bro. Like, let me think. Movies that because when I think of favorite movies, I'm thinking of movies that like if you throw that shit on, I'm gonna watch it anytime, anywhere. Don't right. it. yeah, like so. Let me think. Let me think. Yo, tell your night about to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't get mad at people for putting the Jamaican flag in the chat. What yo, is that? Come on, ting. We bomb our ass, yo. Spam <laughs> it up. Spam it. Bomb our clock up, yo. Night by tripping. Well, well, no matter where you are, fuck. Came in. Yo, tell your fucking night about the heart. You fucking suck your with my pussy. <laughs> and yeah, no matter what stream you're on, night by always tripping about something. <laughs> bullshit, yeah, he yo. did jump in. Yo, my ting, yo. Fire fit up. Anyway, back to my last two weeks. Fucking movies, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Just because of the night bot, the Olympics were fucking my nigga broke the record. That's one of my favorite movies now, nigga. Night bot, fucking suck your mama pussy. Anyway, um, play nice. <laughs> you saying bolt, nigga? <laughs> anyway, let me uh -uh. Let's, let me think of these last two dudes. You know what though, um. I didn't want to do it, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Black Panther for one because I I did enjoy that movie so much. Like I already watched. No, Black I'm gonna I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out Black Panther for Forty Two. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna switch that out. That was Black a good movie 42, too. Forty Two, and I'm gonna throw Django Unchained as my number five. Because Another respectable you know, one. Really? Okay. Well, first of all, if you didn't know, Jamie Foxx is my idol. The nigga is a fucking three way killer. Comedy, fire. Oh, yeah. Actor, fire. Singer, mm -hmm. the nigga got the pipes, no homo. Like, come on, bro. He's one of my he's one of my idols, bro. Legit. So So I'm going Django and Chain as my fifth. Nightbot, go suck your mama, and we out here. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Bad Monty, what do you mean? 
Give me one second. I'll have my fifth one. Wait, I when did you say your first four? I haven't. I haven't. I'm oh, okay. pulling them up. Yeah. Okay. I heard I heard in a second I had my fifth. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, wait. <laughs> I, I, I know I was talking, but I didn't mean like, I know I've been drinking this whole bottle to the head and I was drinking before <laughs> that, but I know I ain't walling. No, 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 no. Oh, this bitch got my name? You trying to holler at me with my name? The fuck? Go you down in the DM. Here? This your six one and a half? Nah, you too tall for me. Nah, I'm lying. I found trees. I was about to say, I'm like, she's what? She's six but, uh, one and a half. Uh, she is to catch a ladder. And, and if y'all seen how tall vocab is, you better catch a ladder. Hey, I climb trees, nigga. I'm full okay. of islands. Don't you get that mega mushroom? <laughs> right. Do, do, do. We climb trees. Well, <laughs> You, you have a pelt mungo? No. Um, yeah, boss man. <laughs> what you talking about, though, shorty? All right. All I right. will palm your face like a basketball. Five, she, talking, she talking. Five favorite Why? movies. It's not, okay, this aren't the five favorite movies, but it's like a top five of mine. Nigga, he said no top five favorite. I ain't movies. got a top five. It's like a spread of them. Like we all had to think about it, nigga. Well, you we have to come back on another show for that then, cause yeah, all right, all right, all right. Give, give, give cause the five. yeah, because I ain't. I don't know if I got anything that's just like eat, automatically. These are the five. Like I, I got about a, a good twenty five that I shuffle between. That's about it. All right, all right. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. He come with a legit five. That's understandable. I was like, I can come up with five, but it may not be the exact five. I get what so, you're saying. That makes yeah. sense. This bitch talking spicy, son. She says she going to palm my head like a basketball. Whoa. <sighs> Bold strategy. Anyway. It's mine. <laughs> so, let's get into a couple things. Before we hit this Spidey. Wait, you didn't say your five. I thought you said we were skipping it for now. No, All right, I I'll say the five. just give the, the regular five then. All right, I'll get a regular five. So one is a, kind of a duo. It's Rat Pack and Ocean's Eleven because they're basically the same movie. Thanks. Um, okay. So th- those two there. The Court Jester with Danny Kaye is an old school, but Danny Kaye is one of my favorite comedians in the world. Uh, I feel that. The Mechanic. With uh, okay. what's his name? Statham. Yeah, okay. Underworld, Rise of the Lichens. Okay. That was good. I just seen that really? recently. That's pretty good. That's Everybody knows I'm a werewolf. I'm a werewolf dude. I know. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and then Balto. Okay. This All is, right. This is a crazy five. <laughs> Very it interesting. Is. I respect it though. I respect your five. Yeah. So. That's mine. But let's get into these movies, this movie news, because we got a bunch of that to touch on, too. Oh, yeah. Um, So I'm, I got a couple of pushbacks that I heard about. One is Morbius got pushed back from January to April. So I'm okay with that. I didn't realize uh, that was Jared Leto. I'm okay with that. Uh, well, I didn't realize just... that was him. Yeah, that was him. Yeah. Yeah. I was interested. I'm losing. The more they push it back, the more interest I'm losing in it. I'll be honest. Right. It was just like to me, Morbius was a, a movie like, all right, that's cool. So th- it doesn't right, hurt right. me that it got pushed back. It was like, all yeah. right. Well, I my always thing push- is this. How they gonna warp it into Spider-Man? That's my only question. You think that you think logic would dictate if you have a Spider-Man verse character to put it out while spy while you, you have Spider Man's hot, right? right? You would you would think, but then again, this is Sony, the right? Same company that can't even put out PS fives in the right. You know, you know what? It's I'm not gonna be. And then, gonna like my other thing is like we've had the Sinister Six. I'm sorry, and I'm okay with spoilers, so feel free. We gonna have this the Spider Man conversation today because I still ain't watched it. I'm still mad. Wait, that what? we didn't get a Sinister Six. What you mean you still ain't watched it, bro? We I wouldn't. I'll, I'll watch it when it comes out. I'm not worried about it. We talking about Spider Man? Yeah, Spider Man. You when it comes out, when? What you mean it came out? 
I know. You wait, when it comes you to wait for like, Disney Plus. You wait for that Disney right. Plus. I'll wait, wait for Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. Or at least DVD. Disney yeah. Plus gonna charge you like thirty dollars to watch it. Then I'll wait till it's on that uh DVD, and, whatever. And you could have literally went to the movie for twelve. I right, nah, we lying. Movies is like fifteen dollars now. But Redbox still works. It'll, it'll hit there eventually. <laughs> Why would you wait that long? Because I was honestly, I'm not. I don't like the multiverse stuff with Spider Man. I feel that, but it's I don't. It, I'm gonna just say this: it's it's for us. It's I get us. it. I get it's it for us. I will see it. I don't it's get it wrong for us. <laughs> Hold on, I feel I feel like he needs a full screen for that. It's for us. For, listen, listen. For us. Uh, I understand. Our generation. I is know. What this movie is for. I get it. It puts a, it puts a nice linchpin, but that movie killed my whole idea for Champions versus Young Avengers. My theory is yeah. down the toilet. Yeah. My See, my theory is down the toilet. I'm still my whole thing this. was they should have won Sinister Six. Until they do Sinister Six, I don't care anymore. I don't. But we could have had a we could have had a, a Sinister we Six. Have, that, this movie should have been Sinister Six. We should have had it. I need we, you to watch it though. If I will cash at you the money for the movie ticket, I need you to watch it. <laughs> I will go watch it, but it, it's, it's gonna I be know a you minute. Don't, you don't need me to cash at it, but I need you to watch this movie, bro. Like, I will. For, I will. It's for us. No, not when it comes in red box, nigga. The fuck. <laughs> this is sad. It's a um, bitch. Yeah. But I'm it just, did, but yeah. but the but it, I mean the Spidey movie did what it needed to do. to said that kill. I don't know if I would have went in that direction. I know they said they didn't do what they did with this movie. The backup plan was Craven's last hunt, which I originally thought that was what they were going to do before all these rumors came I, out. That whole character, the the character of Craven itself, is a filler episode. I've always thought that the entire, even in the comic books. Craven as a character was a filler, period. Like, so he's a hunter. That's it. He was blessed by a shaman to be a hunter in New York City. Yo, niggas be hunting, son. Like, you couldn't come up with nothing better than that. You got the lizard. You got scorpion. You got vulture. You got kingpin that he fighting. You got every Doc Ock. And then you have Craven the Hunter. Yeah, I think about it. Think about the list you just named, right? About six out of the seven people you named were all animals, nigga. Bring the hunter in, nigga. But Bring why you the hunting hunter. the spider? Go you hunt a lizard. The animals, nigga. You got the fucking animals. Hunter, what hunters do? They hunt animals, nigga. So they hunt, go hunt a spider. You gonna go hunt a spider though, it's, nigga? I'm, I'm. All I'm saying is, you couldn't go catch a lizard. You scared of the lizard. Lizards. All, you scared all of the octopus. Octopus, the only <laughs> animals you gotta you gotta have a hunter, bro. Okay, but I'm you just saying, uh, but of all the people he could have caught, he could have went and caught everybody else, and then came for Spider Man. Like that's facts. That's fact. I I'm not saying the way they did it wasn't stupid. It was. I'm saying him being a hunter ain't stupid because literally ninety percent of all the villains are fucking animals. Well, I mean, I get <laughs> that. I get Especially that. in Spider Man's role, I mean, you got the rhino, scorpion. Animal. Like, come on, bro. I mean, Spider Man's a spider after more than you think about it. But he's a fucking insane. No, but I can see how they would have did Craven. Oh, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. This is what they probably would have did. Oh, you finish off the end of the second movie. That's right. what they should have did with it, though. He should have been like fucking them niggas up and then came for Spider Man. But him being a hunter, like, I fuck with that. Because nigga, everybody a damn animal except for King. <laughs> but with the post credit scene and everything, I think we're gonna get. We might get a better version of Craven. We we might still get that Craven movie. We still might get it. Yeah. I think it's gonna be the fifth movie. It's not gonna I be. I mean, you can movie. always put fifth. Craven in there. That's the thing with Craven. Like that's why I say that's why I call him a filler vi a filler villain. Because no matter what you do, no matter how bad you make the Spider Man franchise, you can always throw Craven in. If you really think about it, you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, he's a big game hunter. So, no matter what happens, you can always say, Oh, Craven happened to show up. Like, 
he's that villain you when you need a, a space filler. Like that man, I can kind of see that. Sometimes you need a filler, bro. They ain't brought in Black Cat yet. They might do you that with the second saying? trilogy. They might do that with the second trilogy. Sometimes you need a filler, bro. And then, okay, so side note, this may not be in Spider Man right now. Who was the new kingpin that they were they're coming out with? I heard some show is supposed to have you having this new kingpin character. In. Uh, hmm. Did you watch Hawkeye? That was what it was. Okay, I no, did I didn't not. plan on it either. Well, well, since you mm, should I, I spoil it? Free. Go ahead. Vocab, go ahead. Should I spoil? Should I spoil or not? Vocab? Really? I'm not gonna watch it, bro. I'm not yeah, gonna watch I'm not gonna watch it. All right, since I okay, love Panda, since you have his Archer, but like, all right, Panda, put it. I'll keep it simple. Marvel's trying to bring the Netflix in sh- the Netflix shows in very slowly. Uh-huh. I figured. Hawkeye, Hawkeye bought out Kingpin. Oh. Okay, okay. Spider-Man has a very cheeky cameo with a certain blinded lawyer. And I'll leave it at that. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, okay. Which I'm hoping that blind lawyer shows up in another Disney Plus series. I mean, about he another... be in a Spider-Man movie. Oh, I mean, Daredevil, oh, that means you got to bring back. Did this uh, didn't watch it? What's her name? Electra. Like oh, yeah. And Shocker. And Hammerhead. Like, it's so many characters that are wound into this that I'm like, are y'all really going to give us what we want or are y'all just going to tease it? Like, <laughs> yeah, they kind of, Spider Man kind of teased the lawyer. What well, I'm Shocker they already is- brought in. They did bring in Shocker. Yeah, Shocker's and, uh, there. Shocker's in Spider Man yeah. Far From Home. No, not Far From Home. Homecoming. Homecoming. Yeah, he was in Homecoming. Who? So, yeah. Shocker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the way I would do it, I'm thinking about Craven right now. What if Craven is the way that brings Miles out, too? And like maybe Craven kills, supposedly kills I Peter, that. and that brings that. and that brings Miles out. Maybe maybe Craven has a rumor about another spider and goes after Miles. Okay, so I guess my question then, and feel free to spoil the movie, like I said. Okay. Is, are we gonna talk Isn't about Miles the other verse? He not no. even, no. Miles has been referenced in, in Homecoming. He was referenced. He was referenced in he Homecoming. Was referenced in Homecoming? Yeah. Donald Glover, that was that was Uncle Aaron. And Okay, okay. I, I didn't even, I didn't Jamie, even think about that. Jamie says something in home, if yep. I was in home, that kind of references to. I'm gonna tell you this because I died. It was, I was, he was like, Yeah, the oh. whole theater laughing. He said the line yeah, too. He that was, was, he was like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I thought you were gonna be black. <laughs> <laughs> oh when yeah, he, he did. Yeah, he did. He, yeah. He was like, I think he's gonna be black. And then my theater, obviously, Rod's theater did the same thing. Was they started cracking the fuck up? Okay. Nah, like, but here's something happen. I am. I do have something I am disappointed with with a certain scene. And I know Shaniqua kind of got mad at me with this one. It was <laughs> when a certain character learned how to open portals. Uh huh. And yeah. I thought somebody else was gonna come out before Toby. Because I was because oh. I out? thought I'll, I'll okay when Toby came out because I knew they was kind of messing around. I thought we were gonna get a gag with um Tofa Griffin's Venom. I thought he was gonna pop out first. Oh. Oh. That, and that would have been so fucking clean, bro. See, like, I I was, I was waiting for it. Another piece, yeah. That I'm talking. I would have like, been dying laughing. I would have literally been. I was waiting for the laugh, and I'm like, heck, bro. I was like, no, no, so perfect, bro. See. I'm like, that would have been funny. I'm like, yo, they might do it. But, they but that's it. my other piece. We should, okay, story-wise, I understand that they had the, the multiverse cartoon movie that came out and did great, right? But shouldn't we have integrated Venom into the storyline before you start really messing with the multiverse with Strange? Listen, all I'm saying is I low-key want to fight you, bro. Because niggas been waiting weeks to talk about Spider-Man and you like... No, no, no. Y'all waited. I waited for, it, for y'all to watch it. I told y'all I wasn't going to be watching it this week, that weekend. You said that was, week. Weekend. You said like three weeks. <laughs> My bad. I should have clarified it. Next time I will clarify it more clearly. I don't plan on watching it before we talk about it. So feel free to spoil it for me. 
<laughs> shit, we're going that route then, shit. Yeah. Then Andrew Garfield needs another movie right now because I never saw the Amazing Spider-Man movies, and he, he cannot. was good. Wait, you say you didn't Bar- see the You need to Spider-Man watch those. Movies? The Lizard? No, I never saw them because I was not interested. You need they, to watch them. Based that on one. this joint, they got to give yeah. him a third one. They should have gave him a third one a long time ago. First of all, y'all killing me because all the points I was going to bring up, I can't even talk about because this thing ain't... Fall away because at this point, I think that's a limitation. Water, I told you I don't care. You ain't seen that, so I'm like... Oh, I mean, I heard what they did to Jamie and in, in Amazing too. So I'm like, you know what? I might not want to watch that one. Crazy, no, man. but the I thing was, like, I can't my talk thing about is what happened to Jamie and Amazing. Okay, too. so here's my question: John, you Rod, do Amazing. you care about us spoiling the two with Andrew Garfield? I don't mind. I don't. Okay. I do not See, mind. We don't care vocab. Let's talk. Yeah, to but it doesn't work. If okay, I could talk to Rod about the new movie Far Away from Home. Okay. Right? But he ain't see amazing, so he not going to understand when I start talking about shit in Far Away From Home that I got to do with Andrew. Okay, and well, just try it. I can talk to you about amazing, but you not going to understand but shit. But between the about. two of it us, we work. got it. It doesn't work. It doesn't <laughs> but between the two of us, we got it. Come on. I mean, from what I've heard, Andrew, Andrew got... Yeah, unfortunately, Andrew seems like he got screwed. I mean, because I remember that. He did get screwed, bro. Like, based on the premise, the I'm going to talk about this one shit. Now, because I'll say this. Andrew was probably is probably a better better Spider-Man than Toby, but Toby's a better Peter Parker than Andrew. That's, Just, facts. That's facts. That's facts. I don't know. I don't know. That's I don't know. Facts. I can't agree with that. I don't think I can agree with that. Yes. Facts. And uh, and Holland only works because he's younger than both of them, so he can kind of get away with a lot of other stuff compared to the other two because he's younger, or he's supposed to be younger. He's supposed to be the age I think Toby was at the beginning of the first Spider-Man movie. Tom Holland, Zendaya in the movie and in real life, he wins. He's the best Peter Parker and (laughs) Spider-Man. You know what? No argument there. I'm just saying, based on, I. You can argue if he got Zendaya in the movie. You know what I mean? We're like, oh, you know, he might have got the best Mary Jane, but you know, uh, uh, uh. But none of it was. Well, the thing is, Garfield, Garfield so, never had MJ. He had Stephanie. No, he had Gwen. He had Gwen. Yeah, Gwen. Gwen. Yeah. What I'm saying, though, is if it was just a movie thing, then you could be like, I right, he got the best. Significant other since you since we're not gonna say MJ, but when I say MJ, I just mean yeah, 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 yeah. the girl. Right? Yeah, we get it. But then you can argue for Andrew's Spider Man or Toby's Peter Parker. But then you go, oh, and he got his MJ to commit to him in real life outside of this movie shit. And then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I see you, sir. Checkmate, you win. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Zendaya is back a, to the conversation at hand. He <laughs> right. low key kind of too old to really be talking about Zendaya like that, but we can appreciate beauty when beauty is there. And he, he, I'm just saying, Amazing. we could never date her because she's like. Okay, so here I got a question. Then I got a question because y'all talking about which Parker is better, Parker, which Spidey is a better Spidey, right? Same. My question is this: if the CG had been what it is now when the first Spidey came out, when Toby, let's say Toby was Tom's age, Garfield is Tom's age, they're all at the same time with today's graphics. You're telling me that Toby Maguire was a better Peter Parker than Andrew Garfield? Yes. How? He's a a more believable looking Peter Parker. That's the thing. Peter Parker. He is Peter Parker. Okay, it's it, not like we're talking about the Hulk. It's not like we're talking cool, about like it's not like we're talking about Bruce Banner, Edward Norton versus Mark Ruffalo. Yes, no, that's we all know Ed story. Norton was the better Banner. Who you got? The best Banner? Yeah, Norton. Exactly. It's, that's what I'm saying. Gonna... But there's a but there's a, a there's a complete contrast of character there with with Garfield and Maguire. Honestly, Garfield, I think, was a better Parker than 
Toby. I think Toby's Spider Man. I don't think so. Was man. more convincing because he actually, and it could be just what they what what came on screen, right? Because if you think yeah, about how Spider Man started out, and he had to learn how to do all that stuff, they didn't show Garfield going through all of that. Right, yeah, they didn't show Holland happened. going through all of that, but they yeah, showed <laughs> McGuire doing it. You see what I'm and saying? Like, he didn't want to repeat it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Andrew, yeah, Garfield kind of is the middle child. He ran. The, he runs. The... But that's what I'm saying. If they if they didn't make if they didn't make McGuire go through all that stuff, right? That they didn't make the other two go through. Would he still have been considered the worst Spider Man? We didn't say he was the word. We just said Andrew got a better Spider Man. I mean, if you look hmm. at if you think if you think of the look of Spider Man, Andrew Andrew Spider Man looks better than Peter. I mean, and Toby. I think so. But if you think about Peter Parker, when you think of how right. a Peter Parker looks, Toby looks more like Toby a looks like a Peter Parker, Peter bro, Parker. In real life. If Toby Maguire's real name was Peter Parker, I would believe you. That's that's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like a Peter Parker, bro. Holland looks like a Peter Parker, a very young Peter Parker. Right, right, right. Like a fucking Peter Parker. So you say Toby's a better Peter. His real name Toby Maguire. Sound like some Peter Parker type shit, bro. Like true. You look like a Peter Parker, bro. And I ain't trying to be racist because they all white, but. Nigga, you look like a Peter Parker. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing. I know people have been clamoring and trying to figure out who the live action model is going to be, but that can you be like, oh yeah, her name is Amber. Like that's a Molly right there. Toby Maguire is a Peter Parker. <laughs> that's what uh, they're saying. I don't. And I don't then before know. Toby, and before Toby was even Spider Man, he was playing those nerdy, geeky roles. I mean, he was a nerd in Pleasant over I mean, crying out loud. Rings, like, he was. Like Toby was playing those nerdy geeky roles before he even but, had okay, Peter Parker. Well, here's what here's what I don't His get. His name this is Toby. Is what, well, no, wait, but here's the thing. Came. Even with that, even in the comic books, when was Parker ever actually nerdy? He when was he just became, smart. When he became Toby Maguire, that's when. But I'm just saying, y'all are putting this on it like he's he's got to have this nerd aesthetic. Parker was never a nerd like that. I'm not saying it's because of the nerd aesthetic. I'm just saying Toby Maguire look like a Peter Parker, just like the girl. I think you only say that because like of what they made him go through like on screen. Though. Up my block look like a Skyler. This <laughs> nigga look like, like a Skyler. Peter Parker, bro. <laughs> You know what I'm when I say that, you know what I I'm know what you mean. mean. I know what you mean. The nigga is a Peter Parker, bro. Like, <laughs> and it's not you look like but a Peter. I, like I it's said, not you look I get like what a you're Toby saying. Parker. It's a you look like a Peter Parker. I get together. what you're saying. Go together. ahead, Rob. Okay, but what I was just thinking is just like when you look at all three actors, like I said, I didn't see the amazing movie because it just came out a weird time. I wasn't really I think it came out when I was a little bit out of college, and then I saw the trailers. It just didn't interest me, to be uh, quite honest, when they for, when the trailers came out. I just wasn't interested. I thought about seeing the Electro, the second one, because uh, of Jamie Foxx. I was like, okay, Jamie Foxx, maybe it'll be good. But then I saw how he looked. I'm like, I'm surprised Jamie took that role. My damn self, looking at him, I'm like, okay, must be a paycheck movie for him. Nothing wrong with that. But when you look at the Spider-Man movies, like... Like Toby's, like Toby's the best Peter aesthetic wise. Garfield's the better looking Spider Man aesthetic wise. Tom Holland, if you were going for a younger, more modern Spider Man, he fits it. He fits the bill. That's why a lot of people have been. I've been looking at a lot of people trying to figure out who's going to be the live action Miles. The best, the most intriguing one I've seen, and it's like spoiler if you haven't seen Cobra Kai season, season four. I ain't watching it. Well, there's a black kid in season four of Cobra Kai who would probably be a very excellent Miles. I could huh. see that. I'm not mad at that. Okay. Okay. I've, I've seen I've seen like snippets. I don't want to watch it though because I, I'm what what the young kids be talking about when they be like these old heads set in their ways. I'm 
I was like, fuck Cobra Kai, nigga. Karate Kid all day, bitch. <laughs> nah, <laughs> you gotta watch, son. Nah, you gotta yeah, watch. <laughs> nah, I've heard. I've heard. And I've even seen, like, an episode here, episode there, shit. And it, the shit, I ain't gonna lie. The shit looked captivating. What? I'm just stubborn as hell. Nah, you, you need to get all that stubbornness. You're missing out some greatness. Up, bro. I'm missing out some greatness. To you. It's, it's a bullshit reason. But I'm a Trust stitch. me. I've never seen a protagonist from an old movie get redeemed, get somewhat semi redeemed in a way like this before. I believe mm. it. I believe it, bro. Cobra Kai never dies. Cobra Kai never dies. And well, season I'm, five and six are going to be lit if they get to season six. That's all I got to say on that. I will say I will agree to disagree on the Toby thing, but I see where y'all coming from. I'm not. I'm not saying you're wrong in any way. I can see where you're coming from. Time out, real quick though. Off Neil, am I pronouncing your name right though? Because I feel like I'm not. Let me know. All right, continue. Okay. So, I don't. I I feel I feel that neither McGuire nor Holland were made to show a Parker esque attitude on screen. If that makes sense. Okay. Like like they threw him in as Spider Man from the beginning of the movie. Like there was no hey I got to learn how to be Spider Man. And I'm, I personally think that may be why people feel Toby falls more towards that direction than the other two. Because you saw him fighting with Flash. You saw him learning everything like that. He said you were right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm, that's just my thing. I think that might be part of why the perception may be stronger for Toby than the other two. I don't know if that makes sense or not. It does a little bit because from what I'm seeing with MCU, like if you went to go see the movie, mm-hmm. the post credit scene was a was a continuation of a post credit scene from another Sony property, and then the uh, other post credit scene was just the Doctor Strange trailer, just to keep it above. Oh, so, okay. So, like I said, yeah, that, that whole thing they're putting Strange in everything now. Which I mean, don't get me wrong, he is connected. <laughs> That's facts. Dude. There you go. But That's here's the thing. Much, yeah, I think Doctor Strange is going to be the one that kind of opens the doors. Already. Like, like if you've been keeping up with the Disney Plus shows outside of Hawkeye, I think all that's going to come together. I think Hawkeye was just a cute little little side yeah. story. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Sometimes you need a side story. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You need a, need a, yeah, I agree. Like, like Pan, like you were just talking about a filler filler show. The Hawkeye right. is kind of a filler show. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. All right, look, check this out. Right, I'm. I can't, I can't not do it, bro. We gonna talk okay. about Spider Man, bro. We gonna talk about Spider Man because I've been holding this shit in. Let's and go. This nigga We've been James, waiting for you. This nigga Jaden. Yeah, I got some. I got some more points to go ahead. <laughs> but the first, the main thing that I need to talk about. I. Right. So you've seen Amazing Panda, right. so I ain't gotta say this to you. Rod. Okay, so. Garfield, Andrews, MJ is Gwen, right? Right. She dies damn near the end of the movie. But yeah, I, I heard know, about that. I, I, yeah, yeah, night Gwen Stacy died. I, I know that that's yeah. where Garfield yeah. was more natural. You know, Gwen Stacy dies, right? But in the movie, like, he tries to catch her, and the web is what kills her. Because when he catches her, she he fell so long that it snaps her neck because she just stops. Right? So Yeah, that's what they were saying, Infamous. Right. So to me, Far Away From Home was just a traumatic ass movie, bro. Because they didn't have to make MJ, Tom's MJ fall like that. Bruh, and have Andrew be the one to save her. Nick, that's trauma. Everybody like, oh, it was so that he could redeem because he wasn't able to say no, nigga. Now he got that's repent. trauma. Yeah, that's very traumatizing. That's traumatic, bro. Yeah. yeah, and she literally falls the same way as this fell, bro. And then he like he saves her, and I'm like, yeah, but- bro, that's trauma. 
Because now, it's whatever many years that has been when this takes place, from when Gwen dies, he took that time. He obviously he didn't get over it, but he moved on. And then you was like, "Oh, guess what? Fresh cut." <laughs> Fresh <laughs> cut. Nah, but another thing about that movie is. You know, oh my God, I, I cried when that shit happened. I said, "Bro, that's fucked up, bro. That's but, traumatic as hell." I hate to say that I'm gonna be this guy, but I hate to say it. I kind of wish Jamie Foxx and William Defoe kind of stayed. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wish they stayed because William Defoe is a master actor. I forgot how oh, good he is. That man is a genius. No, yes, that William Defoe sure. is. You be that guy because I agree. Yeah, because this is I, yeah. this is I know a lot of people hated that live action Death Note, but one of the highlights of me was was William Defoe's for you. That oh, worked. Yeah. I feel oh like yeah, that worked. That man. That man can do no wrong. I'm sorry. That man can do no wrong when it comes to his acting. He is a straight Yo, method actor. He is amazing at what he, he does. Those, craft. He one of those, you know how you hate people in real life because of the villain that they play. Right. Fucking, right. He's one of those, bro. Yes. Yeah. He's yeah. one of those. No I'm like. Uh, y'all seen Boondock Saints? Yes. I'm glad his, you his, said the, his detective that he played in that, in that sheer genius. What's it called? Yeah, Boy, um, William Defoe is, is a master actor. That was like, I was like, ooh, they should have brought him against Holland. Holland wasn't ready for that smoke. I was like, oh, no, no yeah. not at all. He was not ready for that smoke. Not at all. I was like, at least they kept him in it. I w- that was like, okay, when I watch it, I will at least be happy because that would have pissed me off if they got somebody else to do that. Was Vulture in it? No. No, okay. in the new in the new, in the new one, nah. yeah. Nah, no vulture, so, no Mysterio. Can we come back later and have this conversation? Well, Mysterio's about... dead in the new one. Yeah, technically. So, but can can we come back and have a yeah, conversation yeah, yeah. about he's, how he's Batman dead. became dead. Vulture? That's all I want to know. Can we have that conversation later? Say what? Say it again. How Batman? I'll put that. I'll remember. Okay, yeah, I remember. Vulture? Is that what you said? Yes. yes. Okay, I can see that. You trying, that. you trying to have that conversation? I need. I want to have that conversation at some point. Okay, we'll keep that. We'll put that on the back burner. <laughs> put that we'll on the back burner, please. Yeah, because that's <laughs> yeah. Hey, but yeah, go but ahead. The, hey. Yeah, yeah but the go. Though. Yeah, but I mean, you know, the, the truly they kind of redeemed Toby and Andrew in a lot of ways from what people that's have right. seen. Like, and then how did the Doc, Doc, Doc Ock thing play out? Like, what was the point of bringing Doc Ock back? Oh, that was like that he was. I feel like it that was, was part of the way they did it. I feel like it was necessary as fuck, man. Yeah, I mean, he was kind of a tragic hero, but then he kind of, That's but this right. movie, it's like he's not a tragic, he's kind of like, ooh, I'm, this is a hot take, I can't believe I'm about to you say said, this. You said you okay with spoilers, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, we about you know, to talk. Because I, you know what I'm about to compare him to? Yeah, hmm. I know, go ahead. Zombie Itachi. Bet. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I see it, bro. Okay. Zombie Itachi. He was giving me Itachi vibes. I'm like, zombie. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm so with that. All right, so okay. I'm going to give you a little background, uh, Panda. So, right, they bring all the fucking villains. It's Lizard. It's fucking Electro. It's fucking Sandman. 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 Oh, what? They brought Green Sandman Goppy. back? Yeah, Sandman yep. back too. Uh, Green Goblin. That was the worst right? one by far, but anyway. So, Green Goblin is like a mastermind yeah, let's save the world. But really, nigga, fuck all y'all niggas. Right? <laughs> right. On some goblin Doc stuff. Doc is like, nah, fuck this. But then he like comes around. Sandman is like, I just want to go home. Electro like, right. fuck this. What? Your world has way better electricity. I'm right. living my <laughs> best life. Man got a good hairline everything in the new universe. Yeah, listen, Jamie got a hairline. Oh wow! It turns. It turns. Okay, got to just... it turns, nigga. Now, mind you, if you know Jamie in real life, nigga, Jamie got a hairline. But on top of that, you seen Amazing, right? So you remember what Jamie looked like in Amazing, right? <laughs> Jamie got a hairline, nigga. <laughs> he got hair. He got that upgrade. He yeah. got the MCU upgrade. Well, he got he hair. Got hair. <laughs> okay, because in Amazing, they had my boy looking like Donald Trump. Okay. Right. I'm just saying. Or they got the Tyler Perry wig fund somewhere. You out there. Me? So, but right, they did so bring they, them back. Um, but, but, but to bring this point up, all the villains came back at the point where they were supposed to die in their respective movies. That's right. another point to bring up. And Tom is okay. like, "Yo, 
fuck that. I'm not going to send you back just to die. I'm going to fix Boy. y'all. Anyway. So they literally did the Sinister Six. Yeah. Basically. Pretty much. Basically. Minus Mysterio and Craven. Right. Basically. Because and Venom. Time, Mysterio had just well, Venom wasn't, wasn't part of the original Sinister Six. They just find okay. out. Because right. uh, Hobgoblin came in after Craven died. Yeah. And then. Right, right, right. Venom technically just started taking, you know how Venom is, he just takes over shit. So true. So yeah, that yeah. may be where Craven's coming into play. Then. Sorry, I'm just piecing stuff together from what we were talking about earlier. Nah, yeah, you good. Because you so said Craven, they're talking about still doing though, that. Uh, Tom is that like, will give nah, you that. Okay, I'm gonna save you. Okay. Issue, right. So he start working to save these niggas, and everybody is like, eh, all right, except for Doc Ock. But then this nigga Peter saves him. And he's like, bro, are you fucking serious? Do you understand the voices that's been in my head? Because these damn tentacles, like, now nah, we need are to talking to me. fix this shit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then right after that is when everybody's like, nah, fuck this. I'm trying to stay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so I, I mm -hmm. end up becoming like an anti hero. Okay. No okay. Problem. Yeah. Yeah, because he kind of gets redeemed, and then he's like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to help them out. And then... Hob, not Hobgoblin. I was, was going to say Hobgoblin when I mean Green Goblin. Mm -hmm. But Norman, the Norman personality kind of wanted to get redeemed, but the Green Goblin personality... Yeah, did not. Did. Right. Goblin don't care. Okay. Green Goblin, Goblin don't care. And, and he's when Goblin did in this... He about that life. Goblin's about that life, and he's about that murder game. I'll leave it at yeah. that. He is yeah. about that life, bro. When I Green tell Goblin you, don't care. Green Goblin made you he made you think Norman was doing something, but Norman wasn't doing shit. Green Goblin was there the whole time, like yeah, nigga, you thought. Right. Yeah. Green Goblin played, played Norman like a PS2 to quote state yeah. property. I didn't yeah. say all y'all niggas about to die. So fuck out of here. I said, damn, like that. Yeah, no, nah, Green Goblin, his character has always been about to smoke. Yeah, he's he a don't beast. care who he got to use. Yeah, he, he's a beast, bro. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I know. In an interview, Feige and him said like that. That's why they didn't want to touch Green Goblin because William Defoe did such a good job. It's like, oh yeah, you we, can't. we couldn't replicate. You can't. You can't Heck touch that. No. Nah, yeah, you I, can't. No. Doc Ock, Doc Ock either. Yeah. That's why they said they never touched those two villains because like, yeah, we're, yeah excellent be act. It has to be them. them yeah. Why do you think yeah. um what's his name came back as um JJ um uh J Jonah Jameson. Jameson. Oh yeah, hold it. His character too, of Jameson, like I hate Jameson as a character, but that guy is epic. Like every yeah, time he plays yeah, Jameson, right. no matter what show it's he in, be on that shit. He be real. on it. Uh -huh. That nigga he really hates Spider-Man in real life, bro. Right? That nigga grew up with the comics, and his he had a first <laughs> his favorite edition. character was Jameson. He had a first edition. <laughs> no, no, that nigga had a first edition, and it like fell in the pool. Oh wow! This, this That's a agenda right this there. This was like, I hate Spider Man. <laughs> this nigga has real life trauma, bro. Yeah, like the way, especially the way they made him out to be in the movie. Oh my god, mm. it's so like he becomes like becomes like Alex Jones at the end. That's probably the best way to describe it. Oh him. wow! Hey, you know what I always I'm... thought would be good is if they made Jameson a villain. Like gave him he superpowers. Is a villain, bro. He is a villain. No, 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 no but like gave him powers. Like, oh, damn, son. Oh, and let him go like, after Spider Man and, I, and it, find it, out who, that he's game. Parker. Oh. I just want to see that look when he finds out that he's Parker and goes after him. That's all I'm saying. I thought probably haven't done that in a comic. Wait, they probably did saying. do that. Yeah. But it depends on it depends on the universe. How, how, how did he? How did he react in the movie? Because everybody knows it's Parker now. Like, he how did like, they end up reacting? Hell yeah, fuck that nigga, bro. Basically, it was like oh, public wow. enemy number one. James yeah, was getting all the shine. Wow. Was stalking him, interviewing him, especially said, when. Well, he wasn't working for him in, in the movies either, though. So that's because different. Because the Green Goblin shit, and it's literally like almost exactly how this nigga dies. And hmm. but I'm blaming that shit on Triple J because if he didn't show up to do all the bullshit, none of that shit would have happened. That's what I'm saying. Bro. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta kind of agree with my significant other. She said all made dollars kind of her, her own fault. I, I gotta agree with that. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. hmm. I just hate Triple J. I mean, I'm not knocking that either. And he and he was there. So by default, I'm putting Aunt May's death on him. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. 
I mean, if Hollow would have killed the foe, that would have been some bullshit. And that's why I told that that's why they had Toby coming in like, no, 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 you can't do this. You right. like you can't you can't put the murder game down on him. Right. Hunter, here's my question. Almost for you, killed though. the statue of Lily. So you said you said Aunt May died. Which Aunt May was it? Marissa Tomei. Oh, the new one? Yeah, yep. Tom's Aunt May, the far one. Right. So here's my question. What did Happy say? <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> I just want to know if Happy got a suit. I just want to know Happy if Happy said, would put on a suit. Happy That's said, all I want to know. Life, That's what Did said. Happy put on a suit? He I mean, did. they broke up at the start of the movie, so I mean, I oh, don't know. Okay. okay, but he still was sad though, and he did put on a suit. He did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at the end no, of the you know movie, what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, Iron Man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, well, he he at the end of the movie, everybody forgets Spider Man. This nigga happy at, at Aunt May grave, looking at Tom talking about so how you knew her. Oh, through Spider Man. Wow. Oh, through Spider Man. This she was my aunt. The fuck? <laughs> this is my blood relative. Nigga. Nobody knows who he is. His whole identity is gone. Can't even be like, yeah, this is my. Oh, aunt. so they read they remade him into a new person, basically. Yeah. Nah, the I man, the man had to get his GED at the end. Let's just leave it at that. He can even graduate high school. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah he they did him dirt like, like if you want that tragic Parker, and you were thinking how too created. much. Yeah, Trauma all the people, who, all the people who were whining about oh Tom Holland had too much plot armor, he had too much MCU ness. You got what you want. That, I'll say it like that. You got what you want. Yeah, what they fail to realize though is this is the Parker that ends up killing Kingpin. Yeah, like what y'all just described to me is the Parker that goes and chokes Kingpin out. Facts. That's what I'm not gonna lie. I would love to see that. By the way, on I I wouldn't be surprised. He he, that's what I think is gonna be the villain for the fourth movie. It's gonna be Kingpin. I had to post some money on it. I I just want to see him walk in there and just choke the life out of Kingpin with his bare hands, like. You're the reason I, I may die. I oh, it was you. All right, but it, but they kind of did that with um Green Goblin, so you kind of got that movie okay, with Green okay, Goblin. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. But I wonder if Kingpin has is going to have one eye left at the Hawkeye. Oop, that is kind of a spoiler. But That's fine. <laughs> I ain't watching it. I ain't watching it. It's fine. Yeah, trust me. No, I would just say Google Rogers the musical. Even if you're not going to watch Hawkeye, uh-huh. just watch that. That shit's funny. Oh, <laughs> I would actually go watch that. I would actually go watch that shit. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I watch that. And I don't even like yeah. musicals like that. <laughs> but the movie was good. The movie was good. It, it shows the domino, the baby steps of Multiverse of Madness. Okay. So it kind of, it did definitely set that up between this movie, Loki, WandaVision, mm-hmm. all that kind of, all that has been baby dominoes for the multiverse. Let's let's be okay. honest here. For Strangers movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like okay. Strange is where we're gonna get the big the big multiverse. Right, right, right. Like, like I, I think after Strange, I think Marvel can go Carte Blanche, which is why gotcha. I think I'm wondering. You know what? It would make more sense if Snowy did actually push Morbius back till after Multiverse comes out. If they were really smart, I would push if they it out. Are, yeah, definitely. Because Morbius, like, when you bring in Morbius to the Spider Verse, that's a whole other set of characters that we're not set up for right now. Because that's the thing. Because a lot of people are theorizing that maybe you know Morbius that's Black is... Cat. That's like a lot of people thinking. Them. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of people are thinking Morbius might be Garfield's universe, but we don't know it yet. Ooh. That would make sense, actually. That would, that make, would make sense. Because that that's where we had Lizard movie. and we had Electro. That would have yeah. been Morbius would have been the next one in line, basically. Yeah, it makes at that sense. Point. It definitely makes sense. Yeah, and because you have um the vulture in there, and who's to say he could just play double roles, you right. know? True. We've had we have we've we've had actors play same characters or even different characters in the same universe. We've there's there's a precedent for that. We've had actors switching roles. We've had, yeah, MCU's had that precedent. I mean, so. the thing with the thing with a with a dimensional split, no matter what storyline you go with, and whether it's MCU or you know any other verse that you're talking about, there are always doppelgangers in every multiverse. So 
the vulture looking like Michael Keaton here, can he can still look like Michael Keaton in another verse? Because it's just True. the doppelganger that happened to Mer mirror. You know what I mean? The same one from before. Right. I know some people are like, so, oh, well, people are going to be confused. Like, uh-uh. The way Marvel set up this multiverse and rules, and I think people, if you don't know after Doctor Strange, then I can't do nothing for you, man. I mean, look at what DC's trying to do with that Flash movie, but we're not going to go into that because that's just another... Nah, like, look, the only thing DC needs to do and we're not going to go too far into this because that's a whole nother... <laughs> whole we'll, nother be the, we'll be, we'll we'll be, be here at 7 morning. in the morning. Right. Yeah. But Make like DC movie? just needs to give me Dark Side and shut up. That's it. Like, True. give me that fight. True. And I want Black Adam still. Because I gotta see the Rock as Black Adam. That's just gonna I be dope. That. Just in general. But like, I just want to see that dark side fight. I would, I'm not gonna lie. I want the Snyder version of the dark side fight. They gotta do it right though. That's why I said Snyder. Like, I don't like the full Snyder cut. It should not have been four hours long. It there was no purpose for True. it. But that final battle for the Snyder Cut was worth it. Like that should battle just, could have been put in the real in the regular movie. Should have just you know put it in two movies and made double the money. But hey, this is this is Warner Brothers oh, we're talking so about. They don't think. That's and and then and then Snyder is known for over filming any damn way. So y'all should have known that from jump. So right, if he's got the extra clips, half that stuff could have been used. Right. Like. Most of the stuff they use in trailers, most of the stuff they put into the Snyder Cut was trailers. True. You know what I mean? But like that last battle, you know that's what we came to the movie to see. Put that whole thing in there. Right. Yeah. We're we're that okay with two and three hour movies. People watched The Ring. They will sit there for three hours for a good movie. We watched Endgame. We watched It <laughs> Chapter right. Two. We, we watched. Game, we watched right? Ender's Game. Like. Which, by the way, if you have not seen that, for those watching, is a very good movie. You know what else was a good movie? Spider Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. So I've heard. <laughs> great. Yeah, great. Especially for us. <laughs> 9. Like 5 oh. out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. And for Easily. Ryan to say 9.5 out of 10 is got to be good because he don't give it's people 9.5. So it's so great, especially for people of our age, bro. Like, like I said, I'm mad my Young Avenger champion theory got flushed down the toilet, but you know uh -huh. what? Because I thought, I didn't think they were going to mind wipe everybody at the end of the movie because I thought, oh. I, I thought Spider Man. Black yeah, I thought because I, I thought they were going to set up um, Holland to lead the Young Avengers, but that might be oh. falling under somebody else now. Yeah, gotcha. But gotcha. I think the only thing I think is going to happen, I think we might get the champions as their common counterpart. And I, I know I've said this countless times on this podcast, but I think champions would be the best way to introduce the X Men with Cyclops. Is that I keep Jim saying this. I I keep saying that we should get we should get a version of the champions, but we got a lot of Disney Plus shows coming. We got Miss Marvel, we got Ironheart. I just see how some of these Disney Plus shows are. I can see them setting up the champions on Disney Plus, and I uh -huh. thought I thought with Holland setting up the Young Avengers with him, maybe Shuri, maybe some maybe America Chavez, maybe Wanda's kids that could be the Young Avengers, and then you set that True. up. We might still get that. We might still get I that, but just like Wanda and Vision. I did Vision. finally watch I, Wanda Vision. I didn't watch that shit, and I'm not gonna watch it. I ain't gonna lie. It was. It sets you up for Agatha. Yeah, it's I a heard. setup for Agatha. So I eh. and Monica Rambo. I do. And Monica Rambo. It is true. That is true. Which both even yeah. with both of them, I'm still kind of like meh. I'm not sure how I feel about either one of those, really, but I know I can't wait for She-Hawk, and like I said, I would love to see She-Hawk versus a certain Red Devil attorney, but maybe we will get that in She-Hawk. I mean, She-Hawk in and of itself, I'm sketchy of. Just well, because we... you know you know how that's... Ugh. Because right. of the way they're doing it? I mean, I know I heard Miss Marvel's getting reshoots. I know some people are concerned. People always get scared when they hear reshoots. I don't know why, but 
Because they're not always, they don't always work out right. Now, but one thing I am looking forward to, like I said, I hope champions come, and I still think the champions are going to come. But I don't think we're going to get a Young Avengers. I don't think we're going to get a Young Avengers. We're going to probably get something else. At least not no time soon. Yeah, not no time soon. But thinking about what MCU directions are going to go, I don't know. It's just like Black Panther comes out next year. We got Thor coming out next year. What? No, this year, actually. Excuse me. Um, But actually... Speaking of, we were talking about Spider Man. Here, I'm gonna throw a curveball at all of y'all. Do it. Deadpool. Which Spider Man should team up with Ryan Reynolds was Deadpool? Andrew. Really, Andrew? I was thinking. I was thinking Tom myself. I mean, I can see it because Tom is more modern, but I I don't know. I just feel like. Like I'm not sure. I know Toby has is too old for it. Unfortunately, I'd say Toby's too old for it. Yeah. Got, right. got Toby would have been my pick, but because keep thinking about Deadpool, and I know that De- I know those was Watch amazing. Watch Spider Man, and then you will understand why I think that. Right? But me. I know they did those those amazing Spider Man Deadpool comics, and that's just sitting there. That's literally honestly, sitting there. Bro, that's why I, I don't think they should put Spider Man with Deadpool. I think they should put Venom with Deadpool. What are we talking about though? If they do though, I'm just saying. I think they should do Venom with Deadpool, just the way they set up right now. I mean, but if they do though, then you talking about Tom Hardy and Ryan Reynolds? On yes, the set and that's comedy. yes, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> but comedy. If you bro. put them two together, if you if no, you put um a Spider Man, the world is not ready. I know I'm ready for the MCU Deadpool movie. I tell you that much. I'm ready. That's why I'm throwing the Spider Man curveball at y'all. I would say Tom. It would have to be Tom. It would have just the sheer number of jokes that Tom already has with Hugh Jackman and then Reynolds jokes with Hugh Jackman already. Like, I just see it. I can see that. Because you know what of, I mean? Like I, that, that. It's a, like it's already a vein right there. Yeah, I, because of that. Just... Yeah. You you know they're gonna do a Spider Man Deadpool movie. It's, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when they're gonna do that Spider Man Deadpool. Now what you they need to do going... is a Deadpool. I mean, they're not gonna mix verses, but if they uh, they need to do a Deadpool Harley Quinn movie, that's what they need to do. But we're not gonna get into that. Yes. Nah. <laughs> We're not gonna go into that though. Yes, that was like some tiny two. That's like tiny two animaniacs. That's animaniacs all day. No, what was his yes. name? Freakazoid. Freakazoid. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait. Those two, wait. I think those two cartoons might have crossed over. Wait a minute. They crossed what? over in cartoon. Yeah, yeah reminds me. And Freakazoid did cross over. Yeah, that reminds me. I gotta watch the second season of Animaniacs. On the new one. I got. I, still haven't, seen one. I haven't seen the new one yet. You say there's a new Animaniacs. Yeah, you didn't know? Yeah. How new? Like new, new. New, new, new. new like new, last new. year, new? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, bro. Anna, Mimi, Tolly, and Sadie got that Hulu contract money. Yep. Is it good? I haven't the seen first it. first season was good. Know. The first season was good. I don't know about the second season. Yet. Yeah, because pretty much the new season is just Anna, Mimi, X, and Pinky in the brand. That's pretty much all it is. That's all you but need. Is it, like, is it like replays or like they redid it? New all new storylines and episodes. I mean, the first episode of the reboot is just them talking about how they've been away for twenty years. What? You know, we grew so, up on, on on we grew up on Animaniacs. So oh they, yeah, they doing it justice type shit. Oh yeah, yeah. I got to see the second season. Yeah. It's on Hulu. I mean, they they got that Hulu money as they said. They even make fun of themselves getting the Hulu yeah, money. Hulu, so okay. so hard. We talking about stuff coming back. I gotta Good. show y'all something I found. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Here, let me switch it over for y'all real quick, real quick. This the last of my, my wine gun. I found. Oh, is that what I think it is? Yeah. They're doing a reboot. Doing. If it's what I think it is. If for our boy Kenshin. Ooh, this is gonna be yeah, fun. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, facts. Nigga, my wine gun though. Yeah. So <laughs> we're supposed to be doing a reboot for our boy Kenshin. Um, 
Also, side note, I'm not a big, again, not a big wrestling person. Y'all know who this is? Me neither. No, I don't even know who that is. Nyla Rose. Mm-hmm. She's from AEW. I, I don't even know what that is. So, that's like another wrestling offshoot of W that's trying to compete with WWF or WWE, whatever they call it. Right? They got her coming in to write Thunderbird. To write it? Yeah, she's helping write Thunderbird. Oh, she wow. writes her day? I guess oh, so. Cool. That's what I was like. I don't know what the significance is. I heard it. I think it's gonna be cool. I guess she's got some history with it or whatever the case may be. But yeah, they got her coming in to help write Thunderbird. Okay. Oh, that's pretty I thought, cool. I thought that was pretty cool. That's um, the action uh, comics are on just on a whole nother level, right? Right. On another Especially side that, note, okay. James Cameron. What about him? He's talking about trying to make the Alita Battle Angel sequel? No. Ooh. No. What do y'all think about that? I'm no. Really no. No. Why? Survey says. <laughs> <laughs> Survey yeah. says. Uh, why y'all say that? I don't trust James Cameron. He, he, he's like Spielberg. I think he's past his prom. Sorry, dog. Dang. Well, it's supposed it's, to be Rodriguez, Robert Rodriguez and him, but that's what they're saying. They're talking about they're trying to think about They're thinking about trying to do it. Nothing is, is set yet, but it's something that they're talking about trying to do. Yeah. Um, it's it's a new era, bro. Nah, now, you're speaking of fast. new eras. I don't think you could keep up. Speaking of new areas, Ooh, what about this? Boss. I've the, got guns. The Punisher is dropping the Punisher logo. Makes so sense. They're, supposed to be, they're supposed to be having a new logo that's coming out. Uh, but this is this. It. This is like a throwback to that, that old Spider-Man comic where he put down the suit, remember? Yeah. This is kind of a throwback cover. This is like an offshoot alt- alternate cover that they came up with um, for the new Punisher that's going to be coming out in March, I believe. So true, and makes sense considering the, the but considering the storyline, it makes sense the, the logo with Chang. I mean, it's, it makes sense who he's working with. I mean, it makes yeah. sense to me. Yeah, yeah, and like so, I don't want to spoil that much for people, but considering who he's working with, it makes sense that the logo does kind of evolve. But Punisher, that the Punisher logo needs to be changed for a long time now. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's well, just you also it's have all the stuff that happened in the news with everything with the Capitol and all that. Yeah, it, 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 it just makes logo. sense. It, yeah. it just makes logical sense. I know some people are upset. I know legacy people hate the you know, logos change, but as a Spider-Man's logos changed over the years, Batman's logos changed over the years. Everybody's changed, yeah. Superman, I mean, look at Injustice Superman compared yeah. to regular and comic book Superman or even DC Animated Universe Superman. The logo's different. So what? Right. Like, like logos change every day, B. <laughs> no key on for Superman, though. Why not? Why? Say that for another day. <laughs> I can. <keep driving. laughs> we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Uh, I do have one other piece of news, just general news. Uh, the game Hades, if y'all are familiar with it, actually won. It's the first game to win. Um, what was it? The Hugo Award. Oh. For fe- oh. they actually created a new category for best video game for the year. Uh, mm-hmm. And Hades won it this past year. So, okay. Interesting. If hmm. y'all have not played it, it is a great, like top-down roguelike it player. It it's about? it's a uh, Hades kid Zagreus is breaking out of hell. Basically, <laughs> he's breaking out of Hades, and you're getting stopped by his minions the entire way. But the rest of the gods, the Greek gods, are giving you boons to give you abilities to make it out. Mm. So. Okay, that sounds different. Yeah, sounds I'll, I'm gonna do some gameplay of it here later this weekend, uh, probably the next day or so, so y'all can catch it on my Twitch stream and just kind of take a look at it. I think it's fun. It's a fun little you just throw it in there, but it's old school. Like there's no save points. Like you make nice. your run, you go through that run. Once that runs over, you talking then old school? You talking? Yeah, days. Yeah. yeah. You gonna like smash TV type of yeah run. yeah First of like all, you do your run it saves boys? after the run it saves after the run but you do your run you got to do your run and then you wherever you gotcha. end you end I'm gonna right. say because them Sonic runs was if, if you ain't clear <laughs> just 
No, 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 no. You it's not that game. bad. It's not that bad. Y'all, y'all remember the Sonic runs? It was yes. a turn the TV off, but the game stayed on. Don't let your mom know. Know that it's on. Right. Uh-huh. Put a piece of tape. Put a cut. piece of masking tape you over the light over. so they didn't know. Bro, what? Yeah. 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 It, we was on that time, bro. Yeah. yeah, kids, kids don't know how lucky they got it nowadays. Man. First of all, and if, if you wasn't on channel three, you wasn't doing shit. Oh, True. one other piece of news. Same. Look who's talking about trying to make SAO. Oh, I saw no. that. No, I saw that. that the Skynet who Genshin Impact. Skynet. That's how Skynet starts. <laughs> Skynet, starts. Skynet, bro. Hey, I mean Schwarzenegger, a governor. Hey. Was so I got some I got some like was. science news that, that's if y'all want to hear real quick. Okay. Um, Go ahead. So one, do y'all know what a cuttlefish is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. In general, like cephalopods, cuttlefish. Yeah, so yeah. they now there's a uh there's a test. It's a um what do they call it? It's uh like a memory test, but it's called the Stanford Marshmallow Test. That they give kids and they, they do it to test cognitive ability in creatures or in children, right? And so they've given different animals this test over the years to see if they will, you know, if they could. It's basically a marshmallow. And they take a marshmallow, they give it to them. It's a delayed gratification test type deal. So it's like if they keep it for so long, they'll get a second marshmallow, right? And so the kids get that whole delayed gratification. You tell them, they wait, you give them a second marshmallow, they can eat both of them. They, with the animals, they do similar things like that. Well, now all of a sudden, they've got a cuttlefish a cephalopod is able to do it. Basically, we're about to have illithids walking on the earth because they know what delayed gratification is. Mm-hmm. Like they are cognitively aware of that sort of a situation. Interesting. Yeah, that was in yeah the craziness. Uh, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm not trying to deal with that. Um, nope. Be like that. Ninja Turtle villain. What was that Ninja Turtle in the right. well, the, the fish. The fish that had the me- yes. oh, shit. That oh, thing. A- oh, Lord. Yikes. So, yeah. another thing. Ichiosaurs. This is what they look like. Oh, yeah. Ancient dolphins. The ancient, yeah, yeah, yeah. With with the rows of teeth in the mouth, though? Yeah, yeah them. Yeah, they found a 55-foot long one in Nevada. What? what? The, the, the skeleton for it in you Nevada. In Nevada, these niggas was out there rolling on Vegas. On the street. <laughs> well, remember, like that means that the ocean covered up to Nevada. Oh, you know, yeah. yeah. Nevada. So with Crazy. the with the Arctic melting again, yeah. that water line gonna start coming back up. So Nigga, we know I'm now. FYI, Florida, bro. This is a yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, I'm, they coming for my ass first. First. First, mm-hmm. but That's there were also happened. warm-blooded reptiles. I didn't know that. So oh, yes, so my yeah. Jamaica, right. The final one for the science stuff. They found this little guy. What is that? That it? dinosaur? An em- is that an embryo me? for an oviraptor? Right. No, nope. That's, That's a dinosaur, nigga. Yeah. People trying to start Jurassic Park. No. Yeah. No, nah, it was fossilized. Park. It was a fossilized embryo, but it was a full embryo. They uh they were doing some mining, I guess, some years back, and they just said, oh, well, there could be some eggs in here for dinosaurs, but they were just like rocks. They just kind of stored them in a museum. They moved the museum stuff, so as they did that, they had to go through everything and inventory it, and they found that it was actually, like, when they did the scans, they had a full embryo in there. And so now they're going through and really trying to identify an X, Y, and Z. So yeah, just an FYI for all you folks. Yeah, they're coming. They're definitely coming. Uh, uh, yeah. Guess Pokemon was a lion when they when they said they could revive fossils. So. And this was in China. Of, of course. course, it was in China. <laughs> of course, it that was. would make Jurassic Park. Couldn't make sense. Hey, hey. Oh. Of course it was. So that's that. And no, oh, and then one other thing. This is not science related. This is just uh general stuff. There was a notice that the voice actress for Luffy said if anything ever happened, she wanted the voice actress for Goku to take over. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. 
I can see it. I'm lying. I am mad at that. I can see that easily. (laughs) I like her as a voice actress, but I ain't trying to touch one piece with no kind of DBZ bullshit. Yeah, bro. Uh, But Luffy's Japanese voice actor played Krillin. Right. Yeah, I know. That's why it's even worse. Like you, you, go, <laughs> you add in more. They go, like, nah, oh, nigga. That's what Usa. That's what Usa sounds like. Crawling in the Funimation dub. Don't. I think right. that's a kind of tongue in cheek joke. <laughs> stay, stay over there. Now I got a quick one. Have both of y'all seen the battle for Marineford in One Piece? Yes. Battle for, I'm, I'm, I'm not that far yet. I'm so official. I'm, I'm so official yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, so I you, have, you haven't had the white beard fight yet, right? No, I've been actually during the break. I've been catching up with the Doctor Stone manga, so that's what I've okay. been doing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Never mind. I'll leave this piece for later. Then. All right, because you know I can talk later. about it. Well, I don't want. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it for. No, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so. yeah. Unfortunately, well, Doctor Stone got pushed back. I'm trying to think if it's actually a spoiler or not. What is? No, nah, that's a spoiler. Well. What do you know about Whitebeard, Rod? Whitebeard. All I know is he has, he, he's that one with that big. He doesn't big technically white, have a beard. He has a beard. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's all I know. That's all I know. Yeah, mustache. That's what I'm saying. That's okay, what I'm okay, saying. Okay. That's all I know. He fired. All right. We'll leave. I'll leave that alone. Then I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do nothing with that. Then. Yeah, um, like I said, I've, I've been on Doctor Stone catch up since the anime got pushed back to 2023. So. And then I just heard about this as well. This was just released. I get the way that manga's going. Yep, I can see that. I can so, see it. The manga's gonna end within the next year, so. Oh, yeah, I can see. If that. you're caught with the manga, you, I, I can see a year. Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah. See, I can see that. Fourteen months at most. Fourteen months at, mo- at, Not at the most. Not the They got shit to do. Now, trust me, it's, I think if the manga, this is how you know the manga is going to end. We're going to get an anime announcement of a two season revival. Right. The the anime will get renewed for two seasons. Once you hear that, you know the manga is just about over. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Basically. Yeah, well, like... that was all that I had for the show today. I think we did a pretty, we had a lot to go over for those two weeks that we <laughs> we took off. <laughs> We will not be doing this anymore. No more deaths as we leave, people. Uh, yeah, because we're killing people, bro. Clearly, clearly. Yeah. We leave for two weeks and oh, this and is what happens week, to the world. This week is Demon Slayer because if y'all ain't been watching... Oh, my Demon Slayer. There you go. Yeah. Because if y'all ain't been watching this new season, the entertainment arc is, is wild shit. I've been, hearing, I've been hearing things. Like I said, I've been on a Dr. Stone kick, so... I can see when they Dr. Stone finally got through the mutant train and they was like, all right, we on to the next act the actual right. next season. Finally, okay, they're finally in the series now. Yeah, it's called the entertainment arc. Okay. Oh, okay, so they, they pretty much did a Dragon um, Ball Super, pretty much. I'm, I'm gonna just say this. This is not really a spoiler. Is the sound Hashira is is the main nigga. Right. That's the yeah, nigga. I've heard I've heard the uh, arguments like, about it. And him. Goku was the nigga for Mugen Train. Right, right. The sound Hashira, and he's a yeah. shinobi. Okay, I gotta catch up. Demon Slayer is another one on my catch up list. Like I said, I'm I'm finishing up Doctor Stone manga. Entertainment, or it's called the Entertainment Art. Nick like, Dana, Midnight District. That's what I'm gonna say. That's why yeah, just Entertainment Art. yeah, just a new yeah. yeah we were t- I keep mentioning Doctor Stone. Like, unfortunately, for people who were waiting for the anime to come out this year, unfortunately, Doctor Stone the anime got pushed back to 2023. There is gonna be a special for okay. a character in the manga that's a pirate. So, so okay. the other character okay. you've been seeing around that they've been advertising, he's a he's going to probably be one of the main characters in the third season. So they're kind of setting him up Got a you. little bit too. But Doctor Stone catching up with the manga, I am I'm about eighty chapters behind now. I'm just about eighty. Okay. And I can see based on the way that series goes, I can see why they push the anime back now. Oh, I think why okay. I, I can see why because Doctor Stone's not a a manga with a lot of action sequences, but you could probably do. It's six, a lot of story could, in that, though. It's yeah. a lot of story. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. And with the story that they were doing, where it left off, I think where I just I when I just caught up this morning, it's just they got the item they were looking for, 
when they when they were about to set sail. So that's and that is that was about what eighty chapters I want to say. Oh wow! Like, see, yeah, it, it takes a while, but it's yeah. like you know because Senku's not a fighter, so you're not going to get the it's not right. Dragon Ball, it's quick. not right. Yeah, so most of the chapters, like even I was speed reading, I'm like, damn, I can see why they why they push the anime back. I'm like, damn, I can see it's gonna why. It's going to take some time for them to put that together then. Yeah, sequence is set up, and then yeah. I mean, you're not going to do filler with. Doctor Stone, you can't do filler either. So it's no. like you really gotta know what you're doing. Everything, everything is gonna be storyline with the something with something like that. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't mess it up. It's like pretty much slight spoiler, but once they get the item they were looking for, for looks like they're going into space. And I'm like, Senku, you 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 know, lost your mind now. But <laughs> let hey, me see. I mean, I mean, Senku's crazy. He's crazy. He want to be where he put in mind or something. He can get it done. So right. I don't know. Speaking of Dragon Ball, um, we got the the second trailer that came out. Looks like Gohan's going to be great again, from what it looks like. Gohan great again. Oh, for heroes. Yep, yep. Yeah. So it's like the main character is going to be Gohan, Piccolo, and Pan. Hardly no okay. Goku. Hardly no Vegeta. Which I'm 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 a, I'm, I'm okay here for with it. That. Right. I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, and people wondering, like, what about Goten? No word of Goten and Trunks, but the characters we know so far are confirmed for the movie are Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Pan, Gohan, and Gohan's going to be the main character. So uh-huh. if you like those DBZ movies where Gohan was the main character, this might be right up your alley. And the main villains are the Reverend Army yet again. <laughs> but, I mean, they're reliable. What can you say? Mm-hmm. A newly rebuilt Revan Revan army androids. I mean, who knows what else they're gonna come up with? But right, so far, right. nothing about no Yamcha, no Tien, no um, nothing about Android eighteen. I mean, Krillin's mentioned in the move is gonna be in the movie. They that's not anything about eighteen right. yet. So, 18's a possibility also. Mm-hmm. And from from what people and some people who are a little leery about the CGI they're doing, the CGI is getting a little bit better with the second with the second trailer. And so far, I'll say this right now. I wish they, I wish they, and, and oh yeah, and Broly's in it too. Broly got a little cameo training with Goku and Vegeta on Beerus's planet. So that's oh, all we know so far. So, you know, so Broly, even Broly makes a cameo. So I'm wrong with that. But considering what Dragon Ball is manga wise, they said the new manga, another Dragon Ball Super manga arc is going to start sometime this year. And Thinking of manga, also Boruto might be doing a time skip this year. Also, keep an eye on that. I, I would say I still need to catch up with Boruto because I've been seeing a lot of people have these conversations about how Naruto ain't ish without Karama and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, oh, that that was a sad. Yo, that, I cried when that had when when yeah, I was I heard that about burial. That, I was like, I'm gonna have to watch this because Karama was that dude. And yeah, when Karama died. Yo, yeah, that hurt. yeah. That hurt. People were pissed. That hurt. I mean, he, trauma. Like, like that wasn't right. That's like twelve yeah. years. That's like twenty years ago. Like we met that man twenty years ago. Now, yeah, we grew up with us, bro. Right. I mean, Naruto <laughs> old head like us too. You think about right. it, he old head too. Yeah, he in his thirties too. Man, a grown man with kids. The man had right. Kids, bro. I mean, Sasuke being a decent dad, even though he he lost something too. Right, that is crazy. <laughs> Sasuke, Sasuke lost the Renegon too. Shit, let's give it a yeah, buck. It's gone. Yeah, see, I gotta I gotta see about all that and see what happened. So, yeah, let's just say Borojo and Boroshiki is a motherfucking problem. That's all I'm gonna uh, say. When they get to that animated in probably two years, mm, uh, okay, that's, 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 yeah, yeah, catch up with the manga. Watch the anime for the lore. We've we gotcha. discussed that before. Catch up with okay. the manga. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yo, something else I heard coming out. Sorry, not to cut the Naruto conversation short. Spy Family, though, I heard it's supposed to be coming out. It's not out That's yet. Keep, keep an eye on that one. That's one to keep an eye on. I haven't read it. I'm trying. To, I'm about to go grab. I'm probably going to order it this week or something like that. Uh, some of the manga for it. But I've heard good things. It should be on the Shonen Plus app for like dollar nine. You don't want to buy books right now. You want to? Oh it. no! I'm I, I finally like I said after now that I might have the studio set up, I can finally start building my uh my manga collection like I want to. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like I said, coming back, huh? 
Attack on Titan. else is coming back? What? The Bearskin Bears, nigga. Wait, what? Are you serious? The Bearskin Bears, nigga. No, <laughs> okay. Are you serious? No, I'm not. I just want to oh. fuck with your childhood. Man. Man, listen, boo. Don't play with people's childhood like that. It's like you get hurt. Have people roll down on you real All quick. Right. Like, hold up, bro. <laughs> Y'all talk about Hulk Bear like that. Y'all do that. I was thinking about for the last like 10 minutes. I'm like, bro, you know what fucked them up? If I was like, the first thing Bears is coming back, and then I just take it back. <laughs> well, speaking mean, of things bro. coming back, we got we got a Tackle Time premiering later on tonight. See, I did hear about yeah, that. See, but I don't be watching AOT. So. I'm gonna just leave that to y'all. Yeah, yeah, I just want to see what the ending is. I was, I was, I've heard the manga ending was was controversial, and I did not want to read the manga. I feel you. I didn't want to read the manga. I kind of, I don't know, because I didn't like season four at the beginning. Because I was like, like, I didn't finish it. I'm not gonna lie, I did not finish season four. I got through where Hanji got shot. Okay. And. After that, like I got through, I got through. They got shot. I got. They got back to the city. They got back to like their main area, Maria and stuff, and start trying to teach him. But that was about it. And I'm like, this don't well, feel. It don't feel like the they, the whole vibe is now. I, I got a feeling they're not gonna stick the landing. I got a bad feeling they're not gonna stick yeah, the landing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was such a tone. They tone changed again between three and four, and I, 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 I hate it when they tone changed the last time. It, yeah. it, it, it took me a while to get back in. It took me to maybe the tail end of season four, part one, to get back into the storm like this. Like, you know, like well, a lot I of think the co- season three tone change. I don't think it was as drastic as the four. Like they. I feel like four should have been season five. Does that make sense? Like they just okay. jumped. Now you needed something else. Yeah, it's too jarring. In the middle of there. Yeah, like you remember in the end of three, they, they made it to the ocean. We're thinking, <laughs> okay, now they're going to go across the ocean. They're going to meet some people. We're going to have a couple of fights. You know what I mean? No, nah, right. this is just 20 years later. Now these Negroes is like. <laughs> Doing what they do, it's like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's like, where oh. do we get? Yeah, how do we get here? Like, that's yeah, that's always been my problem with Sackles. Like, they like the tone change, and mm-hmm. it it doesn't. They're not gonna stick the land. I already got. I know. More, I know. I'm already be pissed about the ending. I, I I'm oh, already yeah. kind of. I, I agree. I, I, I've already kind of prepared myself to be pissed off with the ending. I definitely um, agree. But we're gonna have, like hopefully maybe the anime can turn it around. I mean, I mean honestly. Bring back up Naruto again. I mean, shit. I say Ninja Storm did Naruto versus Sasuke better than the anime did. I tell you that much. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you that much. But we also, hmm, some other news. Now that I think about it, some other news I heard um, earlier. There's going to be some more Ninja Turtle stuff coming in 2023. I did hear that. I did hear something about that. They keep pushing for this fifth turtle. And I'm like, but they already made Venus. Don't get me wrong. I think Venus was a good character. If y'all remember her, well, from that one season that they did with the uh, live action in like the nineties, like yeah. late nineties, uh, early two thousands. But like, I think that was a great character. I just think people were played out like, about yeah, that series because it wasn't the best series. You right. know what I mean? Like they were trying to bring back that old school eighties feel. In it a didn't time. work. Right. It, it didn't, didn't work. really work. Right. It didn't work. But I mean. The IDW one has been very good for the Turtles. That's why a lot of people want, want to get that fifth turtle in, and I get it. I totally mm-hmm. get it. It's about time because, I mean, that IDW one's going on six, seven, I want to say almost ten years now, I want to say. Yeah. It's been a good run. I mean, IDW is also doing the Sonic. I mean, they actually fixed the clusterfuck that was Sonic Forces. So, I mean, if IDW can get in touch with any comic. From, yeah, from what I've seen, they... What a clusterfuck Sonic Forces was. They the aftermath of it, IDW and that metal virus zombie saga was I, I would watch that on YouTube. That was some shit. Uh, Sonic horror game. I'm like, damn, why didn't they do this instead of Sonic Forces? That was a more lit idea. Like, you got Sonic trying to fight off a zombie, a, a robotic zombie virus. He has to keep running or he dies. Literally, that's <laughs> everybody getting roboticized. But turn into robotic zombie. I'm like, this shit is lit. Why is this not a game? Why why waste this in a comic book storyline? 
Same thing with Ninja Turtles and the IDW run. It's like, you got a good idea here. Use it. Like, bring the fifth turtle in. Like, right. why not? Well, I mean, but like, there's so many other characters already in the turtle verse that you really don't need a third, frick, a fifth freaking turtle. You don't. True. Like, they it's, have so many allies that they've these kids know nothing about. You get what right. I'm saying? Like, that's where I'm at with it. That's right. Like, uh, Yojimbo, the rabbit, you Usagi, yeah. you know Yo, what Jim. I mean? Like these kids know nothing about that dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, the frog, yeah. the frog brothers, the four frog brothers that that they had, they used to fight. Right, like it's just because so we got to think about this. Has been switched hands so much over the years. I mean, after the four, after the two K three series, and let's be honest, when Nickelodeon house with. Netflix, ID, I don't know who the hell owns the property now, but I think it's still Nickelodeon that has the turtle rights. Um, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think they sold Power Rangers to keep Ninja Turtles, I think, from what I remember. I think, yeah, Power speaking of that, I mean, Power Rangers is Netflix only now, so Ninja Turtles, I think, is still owned by um, Nickelodeon. And then you got that, you got the, um, the Seth Rogen team, Ninja Turtle Netflix. Rise of the TMNT got their own Netflix um special coming out, and it's still one of their projects just floating out there. Right. Honestly, I mean Ninja Turtles is on fire, and then you got the the last I mean, the Ninja Turtles will never die. That's that personal opinion. They will never die. The fact that they pulled Last Ronin, that right there, only to me, the only thing that that means is y'all either about to come up with something that's brand new. You know what I mean? Like a whole new storyline about a new set of turtles. Or y'all about to rewind and go back into the original lore. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Like, because after he dies off, there's got to be somebody who takes over. And even in the last Ronin, like, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I still can't believe it. Now, the last one who I lost, I lost some money on that one. So I'll leave it at that. Never bet your girlfriend on the last Ronin, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the oh, last other that would be a good OVA. That would be a good OVA. Live last Ronin. That'd be a good OVA special. I'd watch that. Oh yeah, that would be that. That can be a three hour movie, and we would sit there and watch it. Hands down. Hands down. Oh yeah. There's yeah. a. There's also a. Um, I will find it. And pull it up later for y'all. I don't know if y'all have seen. There's a guy. He's an artist uh, on Facebook. Uh, I found him on Facebook. But the dude is an artist, and he's he made his own version of the Ninja Turtles. Um, uh, with them being older. So oh, I know what you're talking Ronin. about. I yeah, seen I've seen it. And that storyline that he created is masterpiece. It is a masterpiece of the story. Like it's like them girl old with gray beard. You know what I'm saying? They old older cats now, and Splinter ends up dying of old age, and so it's like oh them my. living their life after that type deal. Dude's amazing. It's the same dude who did the Tuskegee Air comics. Oh, that uh, was him. Okay, it's him. Yeah, and it was just some humbug stuff that him and a friend of his was doing, and they got it set up. Like I'll send y'all a link when I find it. For everything, but yeah, my man's the story like that he came up, they came up with the storyline behind what they was doing and everything. And dude, if they turn it into a comic, it's a rap. It's a, that's a thing. yeah, that's the thing with the Ninja Turtles. You could come up with stuff like so I didn't watch Rise, like I didn't watch Rise because I don't like Ninja Turtles and Magic to be quite honest. Uh-huh. Just just to be me, because I didn't like that fifth season of the um 2003 season with that no ninja tribunal dragon shit. I don't like y'all went too oh, y- y- yeah. y'all went too far. Y'all 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 lost me. I can see why that was a lost season. They yeah. they did um the, the future, the um um flash flash forward. I can see why they did flash forward instead of season five. I, I can see yeah. why. Because y'all y'all I get it, you were trying to wrap everything up, but you went a little too far. Just a little bit. Rise, I thought Rise wasn't for me, but I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, me, yeah, Raphael being the leader, like, okay, that's a little different, okay. That was different. I mean, we could probably each come up with our own Ninja Turtle ideas, honestly. I mean, truth be told, Raph ran stuff anyway until Leo decided yeah. to take over. 
like Leo was the leader, hands down. No one ever can argue that point. But he let Rav do what he wanted to do and then just pulled the leash when need be. Right. True. Like that was how it worked. <laughs> it's like in, anybody who saw that other any other way, I'm like, do y'all watch the same Ninja Turtles? Because they don't. Leo. Yeah, Leo, yeah. Leo let Rav do whatever. It's like that Cyclops Wolverine relationship. Right. That's exactly the what it was. <laughs> that's exactly what that was. He let Wolverine do what he wanted to do. And then at the end, it was like, look, uh, reel that back in, bro. Reel that back in. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun to see in X Men 97 because they, especially they don't, have to, they don't have to worry about censorship or nothing, too. That's going to be yeah. something to keep an eye on. Yeah. But that, that's um, the thing. Oh, that, that's a- all comics, real quick. I wanted to bring this out before I forgot about it. Y'all remember the Black Sand Entertainment Group, yeah. right? They just signed a five hundred thousand dollar deal with on Shark Tank. Uh, oh, I haven't watched this episode yet. Kevin Hart it. and Mark Cuban. Uh, so they they actually did sign it, and they oh, they made I it work. Heard about it, but I ain't watched the episode yet, so I need to watch. Yeah, it. yeah, me too, me too. This I haven't, I haven't watched it yet. That yeah, that happened. So. But fun fact, black sand in Japanese is cross enough. Yeah, well, there you go. Mm. Yeah, I'll probably watch it. I'll probably, I'll probably watch this episode tonight. Yeah, so keep an eye on that. Take a look at it. If y'all didn't watch it, that's black excellence at its finest. Definitely. Definitely. Because that's going to be good. Good Good stuff. Good stuff. Yo, black excellence. But oh, I didn't mean to cut you off, Rod. You was about to say something. My bad, man. Oh no, no, no. you're good, you're good. Because all, all I was saying is, I was like, I was just thinking about when like, we were just talking about the turtle. I'm like, mm-hmm. the turtle is so versatile. I mean, we we all can probably come up with like three different oh, versions yeah. of our own, our own version Heck of the Ninja yeah. Turtles. Heck yeah. The the I think like they, I think that was the beauty of the Ninja Turtle storyline from back in the day. They left so many gaps in the timeline. So like you could take the original tur- Ninja Turtle story, right? Like even the '87 cartoon, and you could make up things that happened between each cartoon that would have been part that could still fall into the storyline. So right, you know what I mean. And you never have to you never have to worry about. And that aside from the fact that there's already like five different by the by 2003 there were what five different verses technically, five different versions of the Shredder, five different versions True. of Turtle. So. Five different turtles versions are, of crying for crying out loud. So Tur- turtles are doing multiverse before it was cool. Before it was cool. The neutrinos, like the rock soldiers, like that's a whole thing that no one's touched on yet in in today's you know what I mean turtles. That's yeah, even the part. yeah even the twenty twelve series kind of dabbled with it a little bit, but they didn't go too far into the space stuff. Right. Only 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 the two two thousand three series really dabbled with the space stuff too much right like the amount of mutagen that got released the they could always have more creatures turn get turned they could have people they eventually had april get turned into the cat woman remember from the the old one oh so, yeah like there's all kinds of stuff that can be done with that story like don't get me wrong i oh. like the last ronin i like the premise of it i think that that's great but there's so much other stuff that could have been done I think they're trying to kill off the old turtles for us because of the way they're doing all this new stuff. That's what I it, took it as. It's, it's a generational thing because I know I had an interesting idea because because I know uh, like I said I follow like a lot of Ninja Turtle YouTube channels. Uh-huh. I know there's rumors going around about another live action series going. Someone posted this. I forgot what the comment was. Do last Ronin, but based it on the '90s on a '90s movie and ignore the third movie. Ignore the third movie. Do okay. as Rodin, based off the first two movies. Okay. And I was like, wait, that could actually work if you time. And, I'm, and then, and then, and in the back of my mind, I'm like, damn, I wish it would actually kept the suits in good shape. Because that's the thing that made the '90s turtles best was those animatronics. It worked. Oh, yeah. That's why. That's why I didn't like the um the what was it the Michael Bay turtles. I'm like, yeah. You had the puppets from the '90s that worked. Perfectly, you did not have to CGI the turtles like that. You did not. I don't yeah, know. The... Like, I like the. <sighs> I get what you're saying because there is a certain nostalgia to the old school animatronics because that's Jim Henson at his finest, and Jim Henson, his theater is immaculate. 
when he it comes to puppetry. Really that man been working since Star Wars, the first Star Wars with puppets. Like, right. side note, if y'all go watch the old Star Wars, if you are Muppet fans in any way, you will see regular Kermit the Frog Muppets in Star Wars. It's yep. hilarious. Like, yep. I made a game out of it one day. <laughs> but, like, the Jim Henson workshop is amazing with their work. And so I, I get what you're saying with that. However, I do like how they individualize the turtles finally in the new one, yeah. the new movie. Okay, I can see. Yeah, the new, yeah the newer iterations do kind of give them their own unique looks and styles, yeah. I, and I can respect that. Just I the movie though, it. just the movies, like the cartoons. I'm like y'all doing a bit much. Like, like Rise, I get what they they tried they tried. Rise tried to do what Sonic Boom did to Sonic. Mm -hmm. That's what they tried to do. They tried to the Sonic Boom and it, it didn't yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. It and like work. I don't like, <laughs> like I remember Ninja Turtles. They all had the same headbands, and we weren't supposed to realize that they was all orange in certain scenes. Like I remember when that was how the cartoons looked. You know what I mean? In eighty back in eighty seven and stuff. Or the but, color errors, or yeah, the color and errors on every in every episode. <laughs> it's like it'd be Michelangelo's voice coming out of Donatello. Like, <laughs> but yeah. like I like I. <sighs> I'm not a fan of the new graphics either, though. A lot of the new graphic styles, I'm not a fan of. Like, I, honestly, I wish they would have continued that. I did like the 07 CGI turtle design. I love that design. I did like that. That was a I good wish, design. Yeah. I yeah. wish they would have continued that in some some way, some form. Because it seemed like that was a, a very experienced group of turtles compared to a, a, compared to a lot of the other turtles that you saw mm -hmm. in 07. Was more experienced. Like, they already defeated Shredder. I mean, only I know twenty twelve defeated the Shredder at the yeah. close of losing Splinter. That that's the thing. I think the twenty twelve process was, but you did get a season of the Turtles without Splinter. That was ballsy at the time to kill True. Splinter. True. True. That was ballsy. That was ballsy. I, I'll give them that. I, that twenty twelve series was good. Like that's definitely something I didn't like it at first, and I watched. I'm like, okay, it works. It worked. It, it took. It had to get its footing. I think that's what yeah. Rise. I, 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 that's why I don't think Rise had a chance to get their footing. But but I like I said, it was more magical based from what I remember seeing. I'm like right. I don't like right. I don't like magic with Ninja Turtles. So that's just that's that's a me thing. You I know, mean, if they if they're gonna do it, then do it. That's all I'm gonna say. Like yeah, go go full in. Go on all it. the way in with it because I can see the turtles with magic. Easy, easy money. I can see them having magic. They could have they would have their own individual magical weapon. They would not have their regular weapons anymore, right? They would have a magical right. weapon or a magical aura that they could use, or like um like a Susano type deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can see like Donatello having like the Susano, or maybe Raphael have like the um what's he not as with the the tiger palms? I can see him yeah. have like stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I could easily see it being done, especially with their personalities. And if you if you're a fan of old karate movies, you know what I'm saying. We've all <laughs> seen, you know, Legend of the Legend of the Five Pump, Five Deadly Fist, or you know what I mean. Legend, the Legend yeah, of the Five Pump. Like, you know, like there's, there's ways like to do it. Yeah, there's, there's, there's ways, ways to do a lot of this. Stuff. Yeah, like yeah, like like, like I said, Ninja Turtles is a good pro. Is in a good place now. Thankfully, that's that's yeah. what I'm getting to. Yeah. It's in a good place. I was like, people are hyped for the last issue of the last Ronin. People are hyped for the new series. Yeah. Power Rangers, I think, is starting to come back. It'll be interesting the first Netflix Power Rangers series because there's there's been some interesting Super Sentai that I've seen. I was on TikTok the other day. Uh -huh. I forgot they had a Cops versus Robbers themed season. I was like, oh, that oh. better be the, that should be the Netflix first season. Is like it's like patrol rangers versus lupon range. I'm like, yo, I would watch just with that name. That would be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think the also the other thing with that is uh because Tommy's supposed to be releasing his Le Legend of the White Ranger soon. White Dragon soon. Yeah, it depends on what Netflix wants to do with the property, but so... I'll be interested to see what they do. With the profit, with the property, same thing with the next Ninja Turtle inc inc um inclination, whatever it should be, movie, TV show. Oh, uh, definitely I've should be a movie. It definitely should be a movie. Like, if they go off the movie from the last one, the Technodrome went back. Baxter Stockman basically is now the Fly. Period. Um, 
which that's a whole nother thing in and of itself. Yeah. Is dealing with more mutants. You know what I mean? So Yeah, there's a lot of directions you go with that franchise, honestly. Like I said, I like I said, when I mentioned the a live action live road um last road, it would be awesome. True. Based on the nineties turtles, the movie turtles, I think that would work. I think that would actually work. I'm not a fan of Casey Jones, just uh, heads up. Yeah. The one they've got in the movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm not I'm a fan of that Casey movie. Jones. Hey, this is a buffoon. That's what I'm saying. They needed somebody else to do that. Like he did not. That that was not Casey. Like, wait, we're talking about the OG '90s or the Michael Bay one? The Michael Bay Casey Jones. The new man, that was Green Arrow. I wouldn't even count that shit. That's shit. what I said. Like, I'm like, that's mm, no, no. You can have Green Arrow be Casey Jones. That makes no damn sense. Right. Yeah. Right. Like they could. They they needed somebody else for that. So I'm hoping if they bring him in, they recast. Casey Jones. I also don't like Megan Fox either, so that's a whole other situation. But yeah, or Michael Bay. That's why I, I saw I I saw the first one because I want to bet. I didn't see the second one because I was like, I don't know. I'm the second one wasn't bet. bad. I like how they. I like Rocksteady and Rebop. They did them justice. Rock they did Rocksteady and Bebop justice. I think. I like how they did that. But yeah, Casey. Yeah. Like I didn't yeah. even like I didn't like Megan Fox in uh Transformers. Transformers. And I like Transformers. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I like the Transformers one. I didn't Bumblebee, they could have done without some of the storyline in Bumblebee. Yeah, they, they, that's a franchise yeah. they just don't know what they're doing. That's another one. I think it's also having a good comic run too, but a, some of these franchises need to follow the comics. We always, if, we always right, I'm like, y'all with, got material. Use the material. <laughs> When we always say this with manga, with anime, with manga, like you got the material, use right. it. Right, just use it. There's no reason to force it. We we well, look, we paid money for it once. We'll do it again. Just That's do that. it. That's <laughs> what, like, like hmm. Beast Wars. If they give me a good Beast Wars, bruh, I'm in there day one. That's not a question. Every kid that grew up in the 90s. Who saw Beast Wars wants to see Optimus Primal and Cheetor and yes. Rat Trap yes. and uh what was it the, the Wolf with the Wings and Arachnia? We want to see that. We want all that smoke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some like follow the material you have. I mean, if stuff works, go for it. Or like like anime and manga. We talk about what anime and manga all the damn time. Like. I know we were talking about Boruto earlier. I mean, there's rumors going around that there might, and like I said, I know I mentioned the time skip earlier. Mm -hmm. The anime might focus on doing some of the light novels that the Boruto era has. There's a, a lot of people oh, okay. know. There's a lot of light novels in the Boruto era that the anime nor the manga has covered that fills oh, wow. in some stuff. Like, one of them, there's one, Sasuke Shiden. It's like a novel where Sasuke takes Boruto, Sakta, and Miski under his wing for a little bit. Oh, wow. And he teaches that, and that's how I think Sara got her second tome for the Shara. People are like, where the fuck did you get the second tome from? Like, it was in a light novel. That's why you don't know what the fuck happened. That's why you don't know what happened. Wow. Yeah, Boruto with the light novels, they need to adapt a lot of the light novels. Honestly. There's even one, Sasuke got a light novel, Sakura has a light novel, and even the boy Shikamaru has a light novel. Oh, wow. That and that... Right. That huh? would be nice. I would like one with Choji. I need Choji to get his shine. That's all I'm saying. I need my man Choji to get his shine. Like they gave him one sh one shine part when he was a kid. They let him go butterfly once, and then they was like, "Okay, now he's an adult." Really? No, nah, <laughs> bro. I need y'all to. I need him to run them fades on a regular basis. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I his daughter's kind of his daughter kind of got the shine a little bit better in Boruto, to be honest. True, yeah, like, true. It, his like, daughter, she, that's what she grew up doing the butterfly thing, though. It's like, right. so you now we just doing it just like this. Like, I understand the kids are better than us, but dang, yeah. But like I said, the Boruto era was interesting. Like, Google the light novels in the Boruto era, you're like, uh -huh. like yo, they need to start adapting some of this. They kind of did it. They did like the. Um, was it te not teacher Sakura? They did the one where um, Sora finds out that Sakura really is her mother. I don't know if people were waiting for Karen to be. Oh, I'm yeah. like, 
I was like, ooh, hey. I was like, I'm like, no, this Everybody franchise. Everybody wanted Karen to be her mom. Bro. Everybody wanted that would have been be ballsy. Mom. That would have been ballsy, but I'm like, wait a minute. This is the same franchise that could have the balls to do a Yaoi ending and didn't do it. That's it. This is true. Oh, you know what happened somewhere, but. No, trust me. If they would have had Nar- Naruto Sasuke be the final pairing, I don't think nobody would have been mad about it. I, I, no. I, I'll die. I'll die on that hill. I'll die. On everybody, that hill. everybody. He was everybody's first kiss for crying out loud. Yeah. Everybody's like, plays <laughs> that picture where it was like, "Hey, mom, who was your first kiss?" Um, okay, yeah. Dad, who was your first kiss? Oh, uh... <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah. Amazing. And in a universe, they in one in a universe out there, we got a Yaoi Naruto ending. Just oh, of course. And people would have probably been fine with it. People were like, yeah, you know no. what? Because if would, you think of the shit Naruto that, went through to get so- money, it would make money. Yeah, it, it, it made logical sense. It's like one of even I was a Naruto fan during the shipping wars, but even I was like, if they would have did Naruto Sasuke as a Yaoi ending, I'm like, you know what? It makes sense. I, I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad at it. Like. I mean the man they all fight like cats and dogs. I mean the I mean Naruto did some shit. I'm like, I'm like, I don't even think I'd do some shit that Naruto did for Sasuke. I don't even think I'd do that for my own family. I'm being dead ass. Very true. Man's lost arms and shit. Right. Like I ain't losing an arm for anybody. I'll tell you that much. Huh? Like I love my family, I love people, but I don't think I'm losing an appendage over the people. Nah. Right. I mean, like, it was an arm. Like, shit, that, that was a yaw in there. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. You know what I think? This is a complete side note, and then we're going we gonna to wrap out. <laughs> okay. A complete side conversation. But I think DBZ needs to have more crossovers. Mm. Mm. And in what fashion? <laughs> I, I just want, like, take, we'll take uh, Naruto, right? Somehow, they end up all the different universes in DBZ, right? One of them is the the Naruto verse. Okay, they go there, they fight like normal. You know, maybe a god of destruction is about to blow stuff up. Naruto and Sakura, or Naruto and Sasuke, are fighting. Blah blah blah. Goku comes in. You know, they realize, Dag, we really are weak, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Find out that there are Dragon Balls for their universe or their world. And so it allows them to bring back characters just for just for the episode to fight. Hmm. So you bring back everybody who's died, but they're the age they would be now with the abilities that they would have now. So yeah, bring exactly. back like Neji and you know what I mean? I I, I, right. All of them hmm. and have them go in one final war just for the episode. Or like mm. you know the ser- that mini series, and then let them fade back out and die as they as the universes remerge back or you know what I'm saying diverge back across. Hmm. I I can see I drag them all across over with a lot. I mean it's, I mean they tend to cross over with Marvel and Toriko back in the day. Yeah, I mean, that was back- hilarious. That was freaking awesome. But you know and that's another one I think needs to be not rebooted, but done something with is Toriko. That was something that was slept on by a lot of people. Well, yeah, I mean, Shueisha's editors was trying to push that series. It just it didn't get the shine. Yeah. But, but, you know, I was thinking about this. And I, I think I mentioned this last time we were podcasting about One Piece and um, that episode 1000 opener when they redid the first series. The first episode. Yeah, yeah. The first opening. And I was like, I kept thinking of a lot of animes with the first intro that could probably do a One Piece, and the only one that came to mind is Dragon Ball, and I was like, wait a minute, of course Dragon Ball, they, they did it with Yo Goku's son and friends return. Yeah, They redid yeah. the original opening. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm like, yeah, that Dragon Ball did that first. have something with some decent length to do that, though. Like, Naruto could do it. Naruto could I don't do know, it. Their, their first intro, I don't know, it'll probably be whack as hell. Like, it'll be whack. I think. Mm. Maybe Sh- maybe you did it Shapuda's first opening, maybe. Maybe Shapuda's first opening, but not Nar- not OG Naruto, probably not. Well, I'm thinking more like have have the opening from Naruto or Shippuden show up in Boruto. 
They already yeah. kind of done that with some of the intros anyway with Boruto. Yeah, they already yeah. have references already, so they kind of did the opening six. They've done Bluebird already. They did homage to Bluebird. Or, oh wait, that's oh, because the they? artist. Who, yeah, it was. Oh, okay. I, I'll, I'll have to show you the opening because okay. the reason they did it is because the artist who did Bluebird did this particular Boruto opening, so that's why they did oh, the reference. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. The one I'm not just showing you the one with Boruto and Kawaki and they're rolling like in the Bluebird intro. Yeah, that one. That that's the same artist. That's why they did that. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. A little bit of a new yeah. story. All yeah, right. But... Well, everybody, we appreciate y'all joining in. Again, it's the first episode of the year. As always, there will be many, many more to come. Uh, February is going to be stupid packed with stuff. Oh, Rod, Nick was still doing that horror show. Yeah, I got I to get back to her. I, I know okay. she's down. Let me just, I'll have to double check with her. All right, no problem, no problem. So, yeah, we got some stuff definitely coming up for February. Uh, that's going to be a pretty, very interesting month as far as, <laughs> as, far as topics go. Um, got some guests that'll be coming in, some guests coming back for that one. Uh, so that'll be a very, very good one. And then just kind of keep up with us. Like we said, every Saturday, we will let you know if we do not, we will let you know, but we appreciate y'all joining us. Uh, Rod, vocab, any words of closing before we roll out? February, it's going to be a lot of deep, deep poetry going on. What he said. Yeah, February is going to be good. Mm-hmm. Pay attention, do your research. And also, I would say check out some of these streaming services. There's a lot of good stuff out here. I've been finding some good documentaries, some good series. Yeah. Found, um, like I say, I mentioned Cobra Kai earlier. Definitely watch season four of Cobra Kai mm-hmm. if you're into that. Um, I would also say if you have Discovery Plus, I I think we mentioned this on the last podcast about the mm. Soul Food Showdown. That yes, you mentioned that one. Right? Last thing I look at today. Yes. Yeah, it finished, and Dorian from MasterChef got pretty far, but I'm not okay. going to spoil what happened. She okay, got pretty okay, far. Okay. I watch cooking shows, so I will watch that shit. I just got to look for yeah, it. Yeah, I will also keep an eye out for, like, I think, I don't know if you guys remember Egypt Shiraz. She had, like, flipping versions of property. I know she has a new series coming out pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, Egypt. She has something new coming out, and then um, what else? Then on Discovery Plus, there is a interesting documentary about black women and fertility. I need to check out. You can find it. Okay. Discovery and, Plus, you said. Yeah, Discovery Plus. Yeah, keep an gotcha. eye out for Discovery Plus. And then, if you haven't watched, also we got Paramount Plus. Watch the South Park post COVID specials. Okay. All right. And, all right. Y'all yeah, we were talking about. Right. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about characters getting older. And I didn't think we see the South Park kids as adults, so it was pretty. Oh, wow, it, it was pretty interesting. Tell you South that much. Adults, hmm. that's that sounds interesting. Right, that yeah. sounds very, very interesting. Yeah. All of them grown up. <laughs> All of them grown up. Hmm. All right. it's yeah, it's called South Park Post COVID. I think that's the name of the, sh- the episode. Post COVID. Oh, wow. Post COVID. I'm done. All yeah. right. That's all well, I'll say on that. As always, we appreciate you coming through. This is Panda Pandemonium and the rest of the crew from Wild really? signing out. <coughs> all right now. <laughs>